I think in remembrance, I'm going to call your character Dennis in this game. Oh, no. <laughs> People will be so confused. All two additional watchers, I don't know. Is that, is that truly the legacy I'm leaving behind? Well, I mean, I, let's just say he got lost and managed to blunder his way into Final Fantasy <laughs> Mystic Quest. Alright, oh. so yeah. Last time we left off, we were about to go to the Lava Dome, actually. Yes. I forgot, I forgot how on the menu screen the characters do the uh, the first part of the YMCA. Uh, or just, just the first part. Repeat. But uh, before we do, actually, though, I'm going to go clean out this battlefield and get thunder. Okay. Oh yeah, Ruben. He's still here. He's the yeah, dude. Yeah, good old Ruben. He's the dude who hits things hard. That's about, and that's about all he does. That's it. Oh, he doesn't have an awesome theme song, so he's not as cool as, was it the name, Tristan? Uh, well, to be fair, nobody has an awesome theme like Tristan. Oh, look at the poor dragon. Oh, man. He's sad that he's dead. Uh, I would be too. <laughs> so sorry, that was great. Silly blue dragon. Oh, no. Not the, oh no, it's red caps! They're not Santa's elves again. Oh, bye. Oh no, hypno sleep. Ow. And it worked. Well, at least well it wasn't status confusion. effects oh. always work, except when they don't. <laughs> except when you're you trying to use them. But um, at least you. It wasn't a. Uh, what was it? Confusion. So you, you know. Yeah, the confusion is terrible. Yeah. That's okay, we're just gonna throw grenades at them. Wow, Ruben, he did, he does his hit things hard trick pretty darn effectively. He does. Unfortunately, like I said, that's his only trick. Yeah, he doesn't really have any spell casting ability, so. Yeah, he has life, and that's it. Mhm. Mm and he can't get any more spells. Oh well. Fortunately, well, when he does smack things, they die really hard. Wow, <laughs> critical hit. Oh yeah. Good lord. When it comes to dying, these monsters are quite proficient. Right. They've got like a PhD. When it comes to making things die, Ruben, he's got it under wraps. He's the artist of, of slaughter. It's true. Yeah. He is an artiste. <laughs> oh, yes. Ruben, the artiste. Mm. Making uh, things dead is, is sort of an art form. Ask Arthur the last time he knows all about that. <laughs> that was that was certainly a support. <laughs> yeah. I don't think anyone was expecting that, least of all me. I'm gonna have to try to write like that next time. <laughs> yeah, please don't. Yeah, I know, I'm kidding. And yeah, please don't write like these Siegfried and Sean supports. Those were believed to be comatose by the end. Oh, I I haven't even read them. Good. Don't. Yeah. Yeah, I, I kinda skimmed them. I didn't see anything that jumped out as crazy, so I just kinda got bored. That's the thing. Siegfried and, and Sean are absolutely boring. They are incredibly dull. Yeah, wow. Yeah, don't say. I mean I can totally believe that for Sean. Siegfried, he's like as crazy as Arthur is, and he shows it more often. Well, in his supports, he's he's just the mentor guy, which is really, really, really dull. Yeah, not not you know the dad of Sean or anything like he should be. Or... Well, he is the dad, but uh, for everyone else, he's just the guy who tells them uplifting thing. <laughs> it's just right making any sense murders. because he's a villain. Right before he murders someone and eats their brain. Well, he's supposed to be the villain, but then everyone's supposed to still love him anyway. Well, I mean, the characters do, but I'm not as convinced. Yeah, I'm gonna disagree with that. <laughs> but with what I said, with what the game's trying to tell you. There we go. Yay! Clean them out. One thunder. Hooray! Yeah, so this is actually the first white spell or wizard spell you're supposed to get. Oh. But uh, since I did the wrong battlefield last time, we uh, got white first. Which is totally oh, not holy, we swear. Oh, okay. I love how this, like, town of tents or whatever has, like, a neon hotel sign. Hell yeah, yeah they do. They got, dude, they got a fucking rock band live. 
Yeah, man. Electric guitar. Powered maybe by thunder, but who knows. All right, and Spell. old yeah. men selling explosives. What's not to love about this town? Exactly, right? And willing to sell them to you, specifically. Wow, these explosives are cheap for the amount of damage that they do I to know. the entire field. Yeah. Eat that, eat that nice for the, of All them. Right. Yeah, so that should be more than enough to get us through the lava dome. Oh, uh, where did uh, PW go? He had to do something. Yeah, he'll be back in a second. Okay. All right, so oh, uh, right, and the earthquake thing yeah. in this place. Yeah. So Blastinus, wow. would you be so kind as to go look at, to go get a YouTube link for the uh, the uh, okay. lava dome theme, so that we can have that on background? Yes, sorry. All right, so yeah, lava dome. This is probably the most complex dungeon in the game. Oh look, it's a Pidgeotto. It is. We're gonna go murder the Pidgeotto. Oh, okay. Oh, another one. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, right. the, Heck yeah. The guys that I said look kind of like potatoes or pears or something. <laughs> Body shapes. Yeah, like. Mm. Uh, oh I shit! I'm sorry. Like... Put it to put. Yeah, I have that set like that. He just doesn't just, trust you. <laughs> just put it in the um, Skype chat. Yeah. Deleted Dennis. Deleted Dennis. <laughs> oh no! Right. Evil lava ninjas. Shit. All right. I think this is where we want to go first. Yeah, basically, there's a whole bunch of passages that go to optional areas. Oh, oh my God, they actually are lava ninjas. <laughs> but we only have we only have to go to a couple places in here. Critical hit. Oh. Critical hit. Barely felt a thing. Still. Um. Yeah. yeah this those, is where I'm going. Those will uh, those will stack up. All right. Anyway. Ruben, he's a big, just mass of health and power. Oh, I know, but. Fighting oh. with a ball and chain. Also, these fuckers do have stone beak, so, uh, oh. yeah. Oh. Gotta watch out for that. Also, Ooh, flame hot sweet. wings. They are quite angry birds. They are indeed. Very angry. Oh, Ruben is proof proofed against fire damage? He is, which is like the only notable thing about him. Oh, you didn't even have to restart to get his resistances back? Well, no, it's because I, I loaded from a hard save. Oh, right, right. God. Alright, oh no, ninjas and a bird. Ninjas quite... and a bird. This is quite a diverse cast of enemies. Okay. It is, there's actually a, a decent amount of enemies in here. Yeah. There's also uh, gargoyles, vampires, uh, stethno, mm -hmm. and uh, that, that might be it. Wow, I, I'd forgotten how just how rocking the soundtrack was. For yeah, such an old game. Oh uh, well, Ruben's taking the whole map. Yeah. All right. So uh, also, I don't know if I demonstrated this, but uh, yeah, grenades you can throw them. Sweet. Not that it means anything, but you know. <laughs> well, it means that. Oh no, it's 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 <gasps> it's it's Spino. It's okay, there she yeah, is. She's dead. Oh, well. Yeah, she, oh, <laughs> she does counter with Petri Touch, which petrifies you, and it negates your damage. So Great. if you don't kill her, she will petrify you in response. <laughs> well, fun. So that's another... Uh, he did fight Medusa before, didn't we? Yeah, yeah that so. was the boss in the last area. Right, Ooh, you dodged. Nice. Yep, this dodged game is a habit of, of demoting its bosses to regular enemies yeah. and subsequent dungeons. It's, it's, Athena was the sister of Medusa, who was actually one of the immortal Gorgon sisters. Medusa wasn't even <laughs> immortal, but oh well. <laughs> She's the one everyone knows, I guess. So. I wonder if we can see the, the last Gorgon sister in this game. Rally, but... Right, so yeah, here's the vampires. Yeah, Gorgonzola. There they are. No, they are Fangpires. Oh, that's right, I'm sorry. Vampires are in the next... Um, oh, the are... wind area. Oh, do they, do they look like this, but recolored, though? Yes. They're okay. like they look like these except black. Mm. Fang fire. <laughs> the silly name. Anyway, let's blow them up. Anyway, uh, I love that uh, every single enemy like changes to a damaged sprite when they get weaker. Yeah. Oh, who, well, look, oh, Avizard. Avizard, who are not gargoyles. Oh! <laughs> you got me! My sword! Yeah, they hit kind of hard, but they're they're mostly notable because you can't kill them with just Ruben. But that's okay because then we smack, because then we just crush them. Because Dennis has it under control. 
That's right, De Dennis has this under control. Yeah. <laughs> Ruin just shakes off the sleeve, like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Alright then. Let's go face a... Let's see, a ninja, a fangpire, or a... Oh, three ninjas. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or the Dijin. Uh, uh, or Iflit, I think he's called now. Oh, oh, Iflit? Not Ifrit? Or Ifrit? Or... Uh. Well, it very well could be Ifrit, except badly translated. It oh, wouldn't yeah. be the first instance uh, of an SNES game. I was about to say, if, if that's why, you know, it, it was, it's called Iflit because it's badly translated. That's what I think. Anyway, here's the Moonhelm. Uh, Tristam, Tristam actually had this. This gives us resistance to fire. Oh, how oh, nice. Yeah, okay. if, yeah, Iflit. I'm guessing that's true. It's probably supposed to be Ifrit. Or Iflight. <laughs> Hi. Flanked by his vampire cronies. That's right. His, fang, his vampire uh, minions. A, a genie with vampires. Yeah, we are. He's with vampires. Okay. Unfortunately, yeah. Unfortunately, while you were out, um, VBA or not VBA, uh, Project 64 crashed. <laughs> and and considering that we were playing Majora's Mask, yeah. He had made a he had made a save state before that, unfortunately. So we had to start from all the way back. From the beginning. That's. That's... Two hours, two hours played through down the toilet. Unfortunately. Yeah, that's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll do it off screen or something. Okay. Yeah, if you like it. Oh God. Yeah, so instead, for, uh, yeah, Blastness has provided some soundtrack listening for you. All right. Let's go oh, fight Stino again. Mm. Ah. She's got some long. <laughs> <laughs> well, she had some long. She had some long fingers. I was gonna say, but. Again. Usually, if I was just playing this on my own, I would actually murder all of them because that's a shit ton of experience. But, but no, you only have to fight one. Yep. Ser seriously, d damage sprites, jumping around, grenades. Like, this Final Fantasy's got all the cool stuff. It does. Yeah. I'd rather play this than 13. This, this music is butt rock as heck. Oh no, Wow, that is damage. a sizable dif difference. Yeah, oh, yeah, it is. Wow, oh, God. It was doing like 100 or something? Yeah, it was doing 99 to us earlier. Wow. Nice reduction. And and we will be very thankful for that because um, boss is the all boss is a two headed fire dragon. Oh. And his flame sweep does about 300 damage if you have fire protection. Wow. Boing. Oh, oh, just kill a ninja, I guess. Oh, and his bird. It's okay. Can't like boing over enemies. That's not how the things work. Oh, I'm sorry. You have. You can only boing over treasure chests and other obstacles. Some other obstacles. Wait, scimitars? Are these are these actually like desert raiders or something? They're actually pirate ninjas. They're Arab pirate ninjas. I have no idea how these health bars work. Uh, <laughs> okay, well. basically, um, each little bar underneath is 40 health. And then each each large slice is a uh, one. Yeah, so, okay. So yeah, Artix has you know forty health plus all his little energy tanks underneath, if you will. Why why don't they just do it in units of a hundred? Because you get because every time you level up, you get another little bar. Yep. Oh, there's turtles. Oh. I forgot about the turtles. Turtles. Oh, they look so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, now they don't. Oh, no, no. Adamant Turtle. Uh, of course there's Adamant Claws, because it's, it's Oh, you Final Fantasy. It's a fucking turtle. <laughs> Wait. It's, it's huge. How did, how did a turtle dodge a, an exactly. attack? But he didn't dodge that one. He went into a shell. I guess, but like, he must have been real quick, and that's not what I think of when I see turtles, but hey. He's a very fast turtle. Very fast turtle. Especially fast. Class. Oh no, it, I, love how, I love oh, how the light. life spell in this game actually does cure people if they are not dead. Life spell in this game is just completely fucking broken. Oh yeah, it like it like pretty much kills everybody and heals you all your guys and like oh here. <laughs> yep. Oh good, I did I did go the right way. Oh yeah, doesn't it make doesn't it cause the HP to overflow or something? No, that's a much different glitch. Um, it no, it just instantly kills them. Yeah. Including a lot of bosses. So I'm told. Uh, not a lot of bosses. It's only oh, the not first a lot. one. Oh, okay, okay. And it's not supposed to. But uh, anyway, so this switch, if you don't press it, you can't actually go to the boss. Oh, okay. Well, what'd it do? 
It opened the door. Oh. That's it. That's its only purpose. I didn't even see it open anything but open. It's a door switch. It opens doors. So it is. In the volcano. Yeah, alright. <laughs> is it the next dungeon where the enemies are actually invisible? No, uh, you actually missed... It was the last one. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was the... Uh, yeah. You missed the... Um, we've done both dungeons that have invisible enemies. Yeah, but it's really didn't really, like, beat yeah, too it, much. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> matter. <laughs> hey, come back. We're gonna beat you up. Oh. <laughs> Alright, now we need to go to... I don't know where we need to go next. We're actually we're gonna have to wander a little bit. Another pair of ninjas. Ninjas. Ninjas are powerful, but they cannot defeat explosives. No. Ugh. And ninjas really? become less powerful in groups. I was so careless. Um. This is the way to the boss. We're not going this way yet. Oh, I saw another switch down there. Oh no, that was the switch I pressed. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So that's the way to the boss. We're not going that way yet. Let's go and beat up. Uh, nah. Classic RPG rule. No, no, there's Explore something very path except the right path. There's something it's very up. important we need to go get. Oh. Should I post the battle theme as well? You can if you wish. You can't go without that. Attacks with scimitar. Yep. I love it. Arab flame ninjas. I'd forgotten how awesome it was. I guess that's why they had the heat right there, too, so... They summoned it. Oh. Uh, I think this is the one over here. So, why is one of your characters such a high, well, relatively higher level compared to... Oh, it's, he just starts that way. Because he, he starts that experience. way. He never gains experience. You know, ah. only, only Dennis does. He's a, he's a big, beefy man. He, he hits things, and they fall down. And that's it. <laughs> he has no... He doesn't really have any spells outside of life. Yep, here we go. This is where we want to be. Got for that fang fire. <laughs> oh man. I don't oh know god, what, the I don't fang fire the Apizar. Ah! A double threat. Actually, a, a double and a half threat, but... It, I don't know. So yeah, wind magic kinda hurts. Well, I'm sure there's a... Oh, wow. Ooh, I'm sure there's here. a uh, wind uh, resistance resistant item, isn't there? There is! It's the last armor piece you get. Oh, joy. Well, the, I mean, like, the last armor armor piece, not, like, super armor piece. It's the last chest plate. Just, I probably would've just used life, since it's, like, an instant heal, isn't it? Yeah, but there's no reason to waste his magic. I got seeds. I don't care. Ruben takes full damage from wind, but he doesn't care. Nah. You can take him and just keep on going. Yeah, he's got a lot, a lot of health. <laughs> yeah, he's he is the equivalent of level 26 health. Hmm. Quite nice. Well, our main character is kind of like the everyman in that he can do everything. Yeah, he has to. Dodge oh, that. Hey, a gin cyclops. Yeah, it's a gin cyclops. <laughs> It's actually an if, excuse me, it's actually an iflet. An if light. <laughs> well, it was an if light. Wait. Yes. That, that vampire just uppercutted you. He did. <laughs> so it's a boxing vampire. <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually Gabriel Belmont there. Just blow that up. Alright. Alright, Sneeno, show me what you got. This is actually a pretty dangerous fight. She's, she's got reinforcements. Oh well, she's gone. <laughs> uh oh, you're strong against uh, what was that? Silence. That was silence. Silence of never does it, anything. Of course it does. Of course it was. Right. It has to be. It's the most useless, silly thing ever. I love how the sword is actually oh, one, wow, one of your weakest close. weapons. And it will. That will change. The oh, yeah, you'll get an upgrade. The final sword is the strongest weapon in the game. Of course it is. And now we have life too, and any remaining challenge in the game is now gone. Bye. Oh dear. <laughs> Bye, challenge. <laughs> yeah. See ya. See you later. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. That's okay. We can just rock out while we play the rest of the game. Oh yeah. We don't need challenge. Right. Challenge is for deep. 
Hmm. Alright, now we can go back to that other room. Okay. We got everything of importance. Let's climb okay. Mount Doom. Everything else is just healing stuff. Yep, pretty much. Yeah, it's all just random shit. We don't. How nice that the volcano has staircases and railings. Very thoughtful. <laughs> well, the enemies have to get around somehow. I suppose they do. And switches. And chests too. And, and, and this volcano stopped. <laughs> these these ninjas are very efficient. Like right. They got to masters in civil engineering. Ah, yeah. Shit. Oh, he's blind. Damn well, it. <laughs> Ruben is blind, so he's gonna be useless. Did he punch himself in the face? Or... Oh, was that the enemy? Okay. Oh, he dodged it. This. Stab. Oh, wow, well, he actually... He actually hit something. Well, Ru... <laughs> he hit something he wasn't even looking at. Right, he has. He does have morning stars, so he can swing his weapon in a pretty nice arc. Still, he takes care not to hit Dennis, unless he's confused. Or no, we're blind. What are we gonna do? Oh, we're just gonna throw explosives. Is what we're gonna do? Uh, <laughs> well, all right. That doesn't require <laughs> eyesight. That doesn't require eyesight or anything. No, it really <laughs> well, doesn't. Explosives really always not. hit. As they say, almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Guess what we have? Uh oh. Uh oh. It's banisher. Uh, let's see, we need to go this way. Murder us some turtles. Yep. Yes, we shall make soup out of their corpses. Ha 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 ha. So, I guess the turtles are weak to axes? They are. And, well, weak to root. But everything's weak to Ruben. That's yeah. not that's what we count. All right, so yeah, so here's here is the depths of Mystic Quest's laziness. Oh gosh, what is it? <gasps> no, Salamand. Oh, oh wow, they pallet swapped uh, pallet swapped in the same dungeon. Yeah, they did. Holy, that's <laughs> something. <laughs> also, also they hit like a motherfucker. And they do. Jeez. <clears throat> Excuse me. Voice crack there for some reason, don't know why, but <laughs> that's almost scary. Oh no, Artix is fatal. It's true, I am fatal, <laughs> but I have life. I mean, Dennis, excuse me. He's dead, fatal. Wait oh, a minute, yeah. Ruben has 23 life. What are you talking about wasting his uses? Because he's going to be the one that doesn't die from the boss's attacks. Yeah, so we might want to save, save it up, you know. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh dear! Shit. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good at all. Oh, you're blind too. What the fuck? Oh no! <laughs> well. <laughs> no! Now you're confused. Well, you're dead. Oh Jesus Christ! I can't look. It's too terrible. Oh, there we so go. So many status effects. Oh God! Oh, Ruben's alive. Oh good. Uh, oof. Oh, now you're. <laughs> God, damn it, it doesn't stop. <laughs> no. Uh, I think you might want to just kill... A... Yeah. Oh. Well, this is either going to end well or horribly. Oh, shit. Music. Oh, God. <laughs> Spooky oh, for fuck. <laughs> Spooky laugh. <laughs> this is a textbook example of how not to fight. <laughs> there we go. Pr problem okay. solved. Oh, good. <laughs> Oh lord, that was oh, that was real hairy for a second there. <laughs> the game is lets you replay every single confrontation. It can't. It's not really hairy. Well, I mean, just this yeah, one but that for, like really, that could have gone better. Like, like six stats effects, in it, like one after the other. It's like holy shit. I mean, this is supposed to be like Baby's first RPG, but it doesn't take it easy on you. Yeah, this is not Baby's first RPG at all. Like, this game will just- this game will fuck you up. Let's just kill Steeno first. <laughs> well, would what? I rather be petrified or confused? I don't honestly know. Uh, yeah, I, I, I would actually say that Final Fantasy VI is simpler. 
Well, that's because half of the shit in Final Fantasy VI just doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> True that. Oh, well. Seriously, those little turtles just look so... <laughs> they look so happy yeah. on the world, though. Like, and then, then you, when you find, you know, zoom in, they're just like... Rah! I'm gonna rip you apart. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh. Dodge that, because, you know, they're so good at that. They are very good at dodging. <laughs> For turtles. Unless it's just like... Uh, oh, wow. Well. Slightly... That... Oh, never mind. Oh, God. Ah. Ruben. It was like that half one. of Ruben's health in one hit. Ruben, why'd you get hit by that? Ruben! Why are you making your poor old mother worry yourself sick? <laughs> Ruben. Oh, hey, it's not Dork. Ruben, you missed! What are you doing? Uh, yeah, Ruben! I taught you better than that. Oh, wait. Oh, I guess, well, they used Thunder, but I was wondering if, uh, like... If your spells had any real effect on them? Like they do, but I'm saving my magic for the boss. Okay. At least my oh. offensive magic. Oh dear. Yeah, these guys are pretty tough, unfortunately. Well, there's one gone. Ruben makes them dead. Oh, Ruben, yeah, he does make them dead. Oh, I'm so sad again. I didn't get to kill the guy. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I thought I could poison you. Oh. Maybe I can. I have the illness. Oh no! <laughs> I'm gone. Bye. For some, for whatever reason, life does not cure status ailments outside of battle, but it does inside battle. Huh? Odd. Boing. Boing. Are any other uh, like spells like? Do any other spells do that? Like, or any other items like those cure potions or anything? Um. Maybe you should actually use a spell, like, for this fight. Nah, it's cool. Nah, it's okay, we got this. Yeah. We just got a ninja. Ninjas aren't too bad, and the Abzar, he's a little bit of a pest, but we got him. Yeah. I, I really hope that What's-His-Name can actually get into a, a Dissidia game. Just as, like, a, a secret character. Uh, yeah, his, his, I believe his... his his canonical name is Benjamin. Who's that? God damn it, why is this? Hang on. Mm. Right back. I think the city only uses uh, the main Final Fantasy. I don't think they even use tactics. Fang Pyre attacks with uppercut. <laughs> but the whole the whole point of cro like crossover no! It's confused. The whole point of crossover fighting games is fan service. Oh, the thing is, for Eleven, which is the other uh, MMO for Final Fantasy, they use a specific character from it. Oh shit, this isn't do- no, this isn't going well. <laughs> oh my god. Ow. Come on, Ruben, you got this. You got it. Yeah, Ruben! If it wasn't for Ruben, Dennis here would be uh, totally messed up. Yeah. Wait, the magic types are white, black, and what was the last one? Wizard! <laughs> it's like black magic, but... More powerful-er. I guess. I don't really know, yeah. I think that's really it. Ah, oh, Ruben, you're blind. You're worthless, Ruben. God oh, Ruben, why'd you get blind? Stop calling me, people! Ruben, why'd you get... <laughs> So, uh, I assume you all had. I assume you all had a good laugh where uh, Dennis tried to kill us both. Uh, well, yeah, but Ruben <laughs> saved the day because he's, you know, he's really good about that. Ruben. Oh, can I you freeze your claws to climb up that wall? I could, but that doesn't go Wait, anywhere. What? Oh. Oh, oh dear. It's okay though. He's blind, so it doesn't. So it's not as scary. You could have been a doctor or a lawyer, but Ruben, you went and got yourself blind. So, do these status effects actually stack on top of one another? Oh yeah, they do. They sure do. You can totally be confused, poisoned, and pe and uh, paralyzed at the same time. That would be quite a... And, and Dinkin, you can still be a lawyer if you're blind. Look at Daredevil. Daredevil? <laughs> I'm sorry. I think, I think you're referring to Matt Murdock. I'm 
sorry. I meant I meant surgeon. I don't think he can really be a good surgeon if you're blind. But... No. FP managed. Oh well, I mean, <laughs> that was a blind LP. That's a different concept altogether, you Mashugana. <laughs> you what? I, was it Mashugana? I, I think it was a British word. I can't remember. Look. Ah yes. We if we're gonna be racist, we've gotta be racist accurately. That's uh, right. Of course. Yes, it's Mashuga. It's a Yiddish word means crazy or idiotic. See, listen, this stream is all kinds of informative. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Too bad nobody's watching. That's true. They might have learned something. I know, right? I did, oh, what's that glowing I turd there? I in the IRC <laughs> when we were doing Majora's Mask, so... Well, nobody, nobody wanted to watch me blemish his mask. I think one person Apparently. was trained and left. <laughs> that's that's it, kind really. of sad. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, the person who left might have been me because I did have to close the screen for a little bit in there. Now we had five people. Salamon. Salamon. Salaman, because Salamander is just literally too many letters. Mm -hmm. Hot mm. wings. But they're delicious! Oh, I know, and now we're killing them. We're killing them so we can have them. Oh, oh these Don't are living hot ones. chicken wings. Yes. Chicken wings. No, no, we don't want chicken wings. Well, sorry. Chicken. I said chicken wings, yeah. Anyway, let's get. What are those? Perhaps uh, we might want some chicken cheese, though. Ooh, yeah. I could go for some chicken cheese. I ain't too keen on chicken cheese. Not a big What season. was that supposed to be? I don't even know. I see, you got the advantage. Or perhaps they're just really slow for birds. They are, they are very sad birds. So what are the, are those like gold bars or something? No, I, I don't know what they are, but we can't do anything with them. They just oh. block us. Oh, what the hell. <laughs> We really need more, more Final Fantasy characters who actually run with axes. Like, there's surprisingly few Final Fantasy characters, even the side characters, who actually use axes as their main weapon. Axes are the tools of the Vaka Guy Jams. You'll never see them. Oh god. Just look at Fire Emblem. I was just thinking about it. Like, you have characters who use all sorts of ridiculous... I know, over, right? ...over-the-top weapons, and then no axes. Strange, huh? Because punching people is cooler. Well, I mean, no, that, not that, even... That's true. I mean, it is, yeah, but that's, like... Not even, like, you know, there's some weapons, like, giant fucking lances or something, or, like, guns in a beautiful setting, like, what? <laughs> but no. <sighs> anyway. All right, and we have reached the boss. Right. Boy, that was a that that dungeon was a chore. Yeah. It, the, the next one is worse. Oh. <laughs> Here we go, some salamans. Just uh, warm you up before the first boss or before the next boss. Yep. Sa Salaman, the Salaman. Mm -hmm. Salmon. Or alternatively, Salad Man. Yeah. Very healthy. See, that's why he's so. He is. He's reminding you to eat your vegetables. Mm-hmm. In fact, he's yelling right now, Boy, I could go for some spinach. No! <laughs> I'll never get my iron uh, content now. Anyway, yes. oh, another... I, th I think that we got the reference. I made the reference for Pete's sake. Ah, God. No, you hey. didn't blast at us. Hey, quit fighting. Quit busting my balls, blast. Mm. Okay. Yeah. That's a conversation that just played out. Sure it was. At least it didn't involve any. I'm so glad that enemies. there's nobody here to actually pay attention to what we're saying. See, that's the beauty of it. We can just bullshit and say whatever we want. Exactly right. It's the no spin zone of LPs. 
the no LP, the no spin zone of LP. My God. Right, yeah. Can't wait till we get Bill O'Reilly on our show. <laughs> yeah, so Mr. O'Reilly, how you doing? Mm. Fucking thing sucks, Alien. <laughs> uh, shouldn't you be using like the claws or something? They seemed pretty weak against that. Um, that was because I got a critical. And uh, well, oh, we're dead. This is this could be a problem. You're fatal again. Oh shit. Please don't thunder me, sir. God damn it, Ruben! Ruben! What you're missing? Wow. <laughs> Ruben picked a sad time to choke. He sure did. Oh, and now he's poisoned. Oh, oh now no, he's we dead. We have life! Life! Oh, well. You can avenge him. Avenge I could him. avenge him, but that would be effort. Poisoned dead. Wow, he got he, he got hit exactly the amount that he needed to die. Nah, he needed 42. He got hit by 50. Or, he needed 52. He got hit by 40. No, I yeah, he had 42 HP and took 52 damage. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Have we got it all worked out now? Yep. And yep. That is hard. We're all dead now. Oh, there, <laughs> there's the dragon doing the cool little dance. <laughs> deep, 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 deep. All right. So uh, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> there you go. Down tonight. It's the end of the line. Right, now, nah, boss music, if you would, blast. I'm doing a little dance. Perhaps I am making a little love as well. Shut up, Jerry. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so, yeah. You never let me have any fun, George. <laughs> All right. So the dual-head Hydra is kind of a massive dick. Um, he has all the breath attacks, like poison breath, fire breath, para breath, all that good shit. Oh, attack with white, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, there's, um, that's his fire breath, with both people up and with resistance. I know he's, I know he's walking on his toes, kind of looks like he's trying to sneak around, but even though, you know, he's a big old dragon thing. Yeah, this, this fight is legitimately difficult, it will fuck your shit up. Well, let's just have Ruben keep smacking and you keep casting. Oh no, poison breath. Uh, well. I am actually out of white magic, so let's go oh, with. Uh, how much? Let's see what Blizzard does. Thunder. Oh, we're in No, unfortunately, that's also a wizard spell. Wait, is, is, hey. is the nitro resistant to wizard spells or something? Well, no, that's just that's I'm out of wizard spell charges. Oh, you're out of that too. Oh, okay. <laughs> Snowman. Oh no, my head. I, I think we have a problem. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Well. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> I am probably going to die if I get hit by fire breath. Fortunately, he didn't do it. Yeah, isn't there a, some sort of defend command? There is, but then I couldn't get Ruben up. Yeah, we have to wake him up. Pat him on the head. Hey man, still need you to kill things. Oh, oh okay. uh, yeah, then he can petrify too. Oh, because you know. No, that that is very bad oh, now, because now that makes his uh, double target spells one single target, and when and that makes your damage go up exponentially. So now he's really pissed. And in fact, like the, the other dragon, the neck is not even there anymore. <laughs> oh, he he shifted slightly to the right. Oh, I, I don't need two heads. I can kill you easily. He's real pissed though. Ow. <laughs> Unfortunately, God. he got us back up in time so we can still get our turn in. Okay, good. <laughs> yes! I, yeah, and then we just got one shot. You can't stop me, dragon! <laughs> Ruben's still trucking. I love the sound that monsters in this game make when they die. It's like... Mm. Like... Mm. Nah, whatever. <laughs> I'm too old for this. <laughs> Why is Ruben faster than the main character? He's the big whack thing guy. Because he's he just oh. is blast. Oh, this guy has multiple phases. That's cool. Well, I mean, at least multiple animations for his uh, demise. But oh, his wings are getting torn up too. I just noticed that. Cool. Yes, they are. Nice touch. Still pissed though. He, he is. Oh, he's still very angry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you would be if if you were getting yourself bombed repeatedly to the and point smacked. where you lost a head. 
and smacked uh, with the mace. I'm kind of surprised he hasn't done more flame sweeps because that would be. Well, he's he's waiting for the right time, like when Ruben's petrified and you have <laughs> you have just like what, two two tanks of health. But oh well. Hmm. He crunched you. He did Ouch. crunch me. I hope oh. I was I hope I was delicious. Yeah. Hope you choke on my arm. I there we go. I Dennis shall bury you. My dance act. Our dance act, you asshole. <laughs> Who asked you? And yep, you've got the flame, Ruby. That's the fire crystal. <laughs> yes, one hundred wow. more rupees in your stack. <laughs> Don't try to touch that. You'll probably cut yourself on it. Uh, it's very sharp. Can we open that treasure chest? Um, that'd, that'd be actually kind of funny. That would be very important to do so because that's the coin. Alright, and right, now we're really them. hardcore because the volcano just erupted and we we, we don't give a fuck. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hide under this rock. We'll be okay. <laughs> or not. Not at all. Hey. No, Lava doesn't work like that, people. Hey. Yeah, it just kind of like traveled. <laughs> it had a mind of its own, you know. Alright. Well, he was so doing we are over, done. over pits of lava. I don't think this game cares about how realistic yeah, lava I know. is. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Alright, so never... uh yeah. Uh, that's it, we're done with 75% of the game. I was never gonna, you know, want to argue that the Final Fantasy series prided itself on realism, but... <laughs> but, uh, first, first thing we need to do is we need to go restock on explosives. Yep, the most... The, the, the good old-fashioned throw bombs at things until it falls over strategy it works hasn't failed well. us yet. I mean, it, yeah, they they always hit, so... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah so, yeah, so guess who is the only party member in the game that doesn't immediately leave you when the dungeon is done? Ruben! He's the man! He's a he... bad guy, isn't he? He's pretty bad, but no, he's not bad in that way. Yeah. He's loyal. He's loyal to you. He's the only one who's, <laughs> who's still stayed with you after the dungeon ended, so that's, that's saying something. It's saying something. I'm not sure what it's saying. But it is saying something indeed. Ruben, why are you still walking around with that schmuck? You, you could be so much more. Nonsense. I delicious sandwich. Get out of here, you silly text box. You can't carry any more explosives. You don't have the giant's explosive wallet thing. Hey, yeah. it's it's Captain Exposition. Look at this asshole. It opened. Oh, <laughs> oh hi. Is it time for our hero to use his shrug animation again? I hope so. Huh? You guessed it. <laughs> uh, whatever. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. So far as Captain Expositions go, he was actually quite brief. Well, yeah, he doesn't say anything. He's just like, hey, here's a thing, and then leaves. He's Captain Minimalistic ex Exposition. <laughs> oh no! Let's see here. We've got Shadow, Minotaur, Zombie, and Chimera. Alright. Two of these are enemies that we have not met yet. One of them uh. is a boss! Oh, the Chimera, Whoa. I assume? That Minotaur went down like nothing. Yes, he sucked. Well, he's an enemy from the first dungeon. Shadow multiplied itself, what the heck? Fortunately, yeah. his HP remained the same. That's right. Yeah. And now we have Arrow. Arrow? And, and, oh. his, HP and the, his HP refused to change. <sighs> oh, Chrono Trigger. Wait. Anyway, so many classic RPGs on the SNES. Stage. Well, actually, two, two classic RPGs. All right, it's time for us Before to tackle that, the Tale series. Got its start on the SNES. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, Welcome to the Rope Bridge. And I guess there's four, five, and six from the Final Fantasy series on the SNES. Well, this is cool. Razor. Stand back. Leave this filthy monster to me. Okay, Ruben, you do that. <laughs> Hey, don't talk to your mother like that, Ruben. <laughs> oh, problem solved, guys. Ruben, go <laughs> home <with your> hand. <laughs> wow, okay. Good work, Ruben. Alright, so these are these are mummies. They are weak to wind. We just got a wind spell. No. Neck choke. Oh, well, alright. Say sayonara to <laughs> 1500 damage, alright. No for Go cat. 
Is that supposed to be a boss? No. It's a singular enemy. Bye! It was... It's... So, yeah. You're not okay. You an excuse to get Ruben out of your party. Ruben! Yep. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm just impaled on a spike here. <laughs> and, Tristam, and Tristam knows this somehow. Hey, your buddy Felkin. <laughs> Wait, where'd you come from, man? Wait, where have you been? <laughs> Oh, he's level 23 too, so... He is not, well, he's not level 23. Ruben was level 26, he's actually level 28. Oh. oh. But, uh, we're, all right, we'll be back in just a second, because we're gonna show, yeah. gotta show just how bad, um, new Tristan is. Oh, no. Um, bad as in horrible, or bad yeah, as in... Yeah, bad, bad as... Bad Michael Jackson sense of the term. Oops. <laughs> all right, let's go and, uh, get his resistances back. Yeah. So the rip. All right. So um, yeah. Basically, he hasn't really changed from the last time we saw I him. I mean, like besides the speed and maybe the accuracy, you're probably better than he is. Yeah. Notice that that's with the charm claw. That's my weakest weapon. I do oh. more damage than he does. <laughs> he sucks. <laughs> Let's see. What about or what other weapon? Does he have any actual spells, or is he has also just life? Wait, I thought he had more spells than that before. No, no, he had life the first time too. Oh, okay. This is quite a badly made bridge. <laughs> I guess it fell apart over the years. Yeah. All right, so now it's time for the actual first dungeon. Okay. The alive forest, which is filled the with dead. The alive forest. Which is filled with dead things. Of course it is. <laughs> Silly. Oh yeah, you have an axe. Oh, an arrow. It's pointing it that way. Telling you to get the thing. fuck out. Oh, 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 wow. How clever of the alive forest planters to do. The one good thing about him is that even though his damage is shit, it is a shooting attack, which means he can kill ghosts. That's it. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, stone gaze. Because now they're gorgons too. Damn it. And Tristram is always guaranteed to go first, so he can be a heal bot. Yeah, that, that is true. Tristram is very fast. Which is <laughs> about the only thing that excuses him doing really, really awful damage. And apparently his ninja oh. stars do poison and paralyze. They do. So that's nice. But yeah, he fell asleep. Oh, well, he's good. <sighs> oh, dear. Excuse me. Last of may be uh, rather terrible stat-wise, but he's a fun character. Oh, he's a great Plus. character. He's just an awful party member. I actually have to drop out of the call here because I have things I need to do. So. Okay, alrighty. So I'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Well, Adnor, anyone can use items, so... <laughs> Sorry, Tristan. <laughs> yeah. But hey, you know, like I said, he's good at shooting things. He can kill That's ghosts. Boy, are they the only monsters that are uh, weak to shooting? No, there's also the flying things. You know, like the birds. Oh, the birds. Oh, he was definitely there for that when we needed him. <laughs> Look, you can't win everything, okay? I, I know, especially if your name's Crystal. The enemies in this game seem to like to use status effects. Oh, they do. Anyway, we're going to take a little uh, side trip here. You can't beat them. Make him weak enough until you can. <laughs> That's basically their motto. Um, I need to go this way. Yep, there, oh, there it is. A mummy in the forest. That's interesting. <laughs> well, he's not alive, so he fits in this forest. I know, but like, I was just wondering. I guess maybe he was embalmed here. Because there were some e woody, wood Egyptians somewhere. Yeah, th that that's it. That's the ticket. W wood Egyptians. Maybe he's an Aztec zombie. Oh, that's... Well, mummy that is. Mummy? Well, I don't... I don't know if they quite use the same... Mm. Yeah, I don't think they did. Well, that was silly. Oh, but dear. You can always try again. Well... <laughs> Give up? Hell no. My name's Dennis. I'm the... I'm the, the unconquerable. Wait. You did a critical hit again? I don't know if it resets the RNG or not. Huh. You might want to not... Well, let's kill him. Yeah. 
Or maybe Tristan just really likes critical hits. What? I guess that would make sense, he's, gotta, he's a ninja. He's gotta pull his weight somehow. Yeah, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Right, he, he, he heard your critical comments and like, alright man, I'll nut up. I think that's what ninjas say, that's an ancient Japanese um, figure of speech. Nut up. Yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Nut up, Tristan Sama. Dinkins. What? Just saying, his master was probably Splinter, I guess. Hmm. So, what are mummies weak to? Mummies are weak to wind. Ah, all right. Besides the outfit. <sighs> yeah. Are there any melee weapons that can do them? No. Or do more damage. Okay. Hmm. No, there we can. Just... <laughs> yeah. All we can do is blow tornadoes at them. Ah. <sighs> But that's okay, because we're about to get a new weapon. Oh, is it a wind sword? It is the giant's axe. Ooh. I guess that must be the the fully upgraded axe. Yes, it is. And it, it, it automatically overrides your old axe? Yes, it yeah. does. It's kind of like, um, you know, what's that? Metroid 3 Corruption. Or, you know, yes. Metroid Prime Corruption, where your beams override. But it's okay, because they're an upgrade for each. Yeah. Yeah, but basically, this... I don't... Let's see. We'll try. I don't know if this will make me strong enough to kill them or not. Well, let's try. Not quite. We're close, though. They said, I can do 600 damage with just that alone now. Oh, no! Oh, God, you're confused. Mm. That's Counter okay. attack. Oh, it's okay, right? Tristan, he can take care. So, uh... Yeah, we're very rude, we, and we, we, we don't have quite the art of talking to trees down. <laughs> Yeah, you're not the you're not the biggest diplomat for the uh, great Deku tree here. I don't think it likes you. But that's okay. But Kaylee does know how to talk to trees. I'm not quite sure how that works. <laughs> yeah, it does. Okay. <laughs> oh, did she like mention that before? I guess no. This Tristan knew about that. Yeah, somehow. Tristan just knows these things, man. Right. So, so uh, if he's yeah. not that used got in combat, even. Though he is, he still gets dirt on every other party member. <laughs> it's okay. Connections. We are now 100% done with him for the rest of the game. He um, knows a guy who knows a guy. And who knew this one guy? But yeah, that was it. We're done with him forever. Oh. So is Aquaria conveniently the water land? Now, what would give you that idea, Blast? Um, actually, no. It's the uh, it's the quintessence land. That's where Nurgle lives. I wish, but no. Yeah. Nurgle's not in this game, unfortunately. Yeah, so anyway, we have to go to Aquaria to go talk to Kaylee. Some lovely, lovely gardens here. Some nice water. But uh, it used to be all frozen over, wasn't it? Yeah, yes, it yeah. was. And then we, uh, made but she's... But oh no, she's asleep! Why can't we just tell her to wake up? <laughs> How long has she been sleeping here for? Ever since we left her? No, she was... Remember, remember, well, remember, we gave her the Benadryl back in Foresta. Oh, right. <laughs> Benadryl? Yeah. We had to give her elixir because she was poisoned by the trees. Right. So now she oh, can okay. talk to trees. Yeah, let's go so, under. So we had to give her the Tums? Right. Her, her, her tummy was acting real funny, and we had to <laughs> make it go away. <laughs> yeah. So now we get to go climb all the way back down to Spencer's place. Wow, we've... This was all underneath uh, that one house, eh? Well, that's very interesting. <laughs> what, so you mean that your house doesn't have a complicated underground spring reservoir in it? I wish. I, I mean, I'd fucking explore that every day. That'd be cool as hell, but no. Unfortunately not. Does the uh, giant sacks provide any uh, bonuses to your stats? Um, like I attack? don't... I think it's just... I think the only thing it does is it gives you an extra strength boost. In, in top of being a stronger weapon. Right, okay. That's some pretty decent attack, that's that's for sure. Yeah, oh, I mean, yeah. it's better than the um the bombs at full power, so... Nice. Yeah. Be a good single target weapon, I guess. So, uh, yeah, Tristan is now going to ditch us again. I'm a treasure hunter ninja, man. <laughs> Sorry, Artix, I really don't care about you too much. Well, <laughs> cool, the feeling's mutual, buddy. Now get out of here. But it's okay, he's got a sweet toy he's gonna give us first. 
Tristam! Oh, uh, aha! A grappling hook. Yeah, so yeah, now we... Yeah, well, so after Ooh. we get our little shrug out of the way... Oh, oh wait, huh? oh, Still one more <laughs> thing that needs to happen. So we got the upgraded claw now. Yes. Uh, super upgraded. Yeah. Grandpa just won't slow down. Let me place an explosive. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Phoebe! <laughs> Damn it, Phoebe, you killed yourself. Oh, no, no, you didn't. <laughs> ah. So does the Dragon's Claw actually, like, you know, function as a grappling hook, too? Yes, it does. And, uh, Phoebe is so good at explosives, she made the fucking thing fall in and collapse. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I mean, we're the explosives master. She should have left the job to us. I know, I know, right? So anyway, now we get to climb all the way back up Spencer's place. Sweet. So what does the Dragon's oh. Claw do? Oh, the Dragon Claw. Well, all right, so you may remember that, uh, like, the Cat Claw does poison and paralysis, and the Charm Claw adds a whole bunch of other fun stuff. Does it do all the status effects? Yes. Oh, dude. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you might notice that one of them is petrification. Oh. What do you it, think petrification does if we inflict it on the enemy? It instantly Instant wins the death. battle. <laughs> it instantly kills them. Yeah. So basically, even though we just got the Giant's Axe and it's the best thing for damage, we're almost entirely going to be using the Dragon Claw because it just murders everything. Yes. Randomly. Now you can be a monk. A monk with uh, a... monk a, with a hookshot. A, a hookshot, yes. I could punch you or I could drag you to me. Which only makes the monk cooler. Exactly, right? So he can climb mountains and shit. So now that, so now that uh, Phoebe has blown up her, grand, her grandfather's uh, pride and joy, we're going to go... No? Now Kaylee's awake. I guess because she heard the explosion. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. She has the she has a giant axe to start and 31 levels. She does. Nice. And she has spells, if I remember right. She has and a turned lot her of AI to auto. Ah, uh, that was a mistake. I'm gonna fix that. Oops. Oh, did <laughs> did you uh? Oh, I guess to reset to make her resistances yep. better. Yeah, because Fe because Kaylee has a lot of good shit. Namely, um. Water, pet water, and petrification. Ooh, that's nice. Also, she hits like a truck. And she's very good with magic and speed and defense. Wow, she's yeah, very like, good at things. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what sort of magic does she have with a stat like that? She has cure, heal, life, and arrow. Okay, so she's mostly like, you know, she can heal you if things go wrong. But yep. wow. And then she also has... Um, Arrow she, because that's cool. That is quite a long range on that claw. <laughs> it, why is it? Why isn't Kaylee winning the game for us? She seems to have everything. Yeah, no. Well, she had to, she had to sleep first to recover her strength. <laughs> yeah. See, well, wow. yeah. Remember, we gave her the Benadryl, and now she's at full power again. Right. Because if you're sick, you can, you know, use your spells or swing your axe. Is, you know, deadly. Oh, Libra Temple. Yeah, we went there. Remember, we warped there to get the uh, that pouch of water. All oh, right, pouch. This game sure does give you the run around, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. But it's okay. We're pretty much done now. All we have to do is everything. We can do everything in the uh, wind area now. All right. And all we need is the uh, the sword, and we'll fill out our weapons collection. Yes, we will. But first, we have to go back to the tree. All right, then. Let's have Kaylee talk to the tree. Just another one of her incredible uh, talents. <laughs> you know what? Maybe we should just use our fire spell to make a, a forest fire. That'll clear the whole thing away. Yeah. Smack. Yes. Dead. What a wonderful message. <laughs> oh, she's strong. All oh, right, of course. She resists. Yeah, she resists petrification, which means that they can't do shit to her. No. And she killed them both. <laughs> Man, I'm loving Kaylee now. <laughs> Trista. Unfortunately, she can't shoot. Oh, that's but okay. No. She, she, but that's okay because she'll anyway. probably kill them anyway. Oh, if she hit, but hey, axes are pretty inaccurate, aren't they? They are. They are. De they are definitely the least accurate of the bunch. Uh, can you change her? Oh wait, does she have any other weapons? No, other she weapons? does not. Um, but still. All guest ca characters only have one weapon, right? Yes. Yeah. And you can't equip them with any armor. Ooh, first instant, first instant kill of many. Yes. Yeah, if you notice there, when I hit the ghost, it did not pop up a damage number. That means that the dragon clock activated and it just instantly killed me. Oh. 
so that means he got petrified or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Fun. Fun times are ahead. You went from Dennis to Dennis the God. <laughs> All right, and now we can talk to the tree. He looks so sad. All right, All right so, like, nope, so we got to go murder a bunch of shit inside him now. Oh, hey, <laughs> interesting. He smoothed out his logs in here. Quite nice of him. He did. He gave us a whole bunch of convenient grappling points and everything. So he, oh hey, crazy, crazy that you know he do that you know when he just got the dragon to call out. Who would have thunk it? I know, right? Oh no, my bandages. We still might want to work on our defense, but I guess we can't really do that. Yeah, the only way we can really work on that is to either a level up or b get more shit. Yeah. And uh, we've gotten all the shit that we can so far. Right. So hopefully we'll level up in here. Oh god, oh no, evil spooky trees are in here. Oh, oh man. Evil spooky trees are weak against? <gasps> dragon's Claw? Well, everything's weak against the Dragon Claw, but no, we're gonna chop them down like the mad yes. lumberjacks we are. Oh my god, Kaylee <laughs> just... <laughs> just <laughs> just <laughs> wow. Just 1,500 damage, yeah, why not? Why is Kaylee she... is one with the trees, except when they're evil. She isn't... <laughs> she's... Right, exactly. She should be one of our fighters in um, uh, an awful emblem, actually. <laughs> we'll have her as a guest. We'll have her as one of the Gaiden characters. Right. We can't just throw everyone in here. Oh, we're not going to. I just, yeah, just the Gaiden. She'd be a warrior or something, but we can nick, uh, or we can steal on me's uh, <laughs> warrior sprite for women. <laughs> so, yeah, we had some, got some uh, sweet grappling hook puzzles. Boing. <laughs> Puzzle, you say. <laughs> Oh well, let's go. Can you oh, attach yeah, just neat. to those trees, or...? Yeah, you can unfortunately only the... attach to the targets, but... Okay. The hookshot is probably the best item description in the entire game. Like, oh. for, it, for, um, Link to the Past. What is, what does it say? It's like, it's like, hey, you Boing. got the hookshot. Boing! It extends, <laughs> it extends to attach to things. Boing! Wink, wink, wink. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, a Snipian! That's like a scorpion, but oh, dead. <laughs> it's like a scorpion, but he's got mad no scope skills. Oh, bro. He pones all the scrubs. Too bad you ain't a scrub, and neither is Kylie or Kaylee. He only managed a 180 before you had no scoped him. Yeah, I think actually he only got like 45 degrees around. That's how quick it was. Oh no, twice. It did like it did like 60 damage. I don't care. Yeah, that's that's really. <laughs> it was about as effective as you'd expect a giant scorpion to be against a guy in full armor. My God. Oh no. They've gone mad. Get out. <laughs> yeah, these guys are really annoying because uh -oh. Kaylee does not have poison resistance, and she can't kill them, and they have poison touch as a counter. Darn it. Oh well. So, lots of health, you, you better have a lot of heal potions, is what you're saying? Yeah. Actually, no, Kaylee could be a hero or something. We use his axes. <laughs> just, she just automatically has ranked, of course. And apparently, they're not uh, resistant against poison damage. Oh no, my god! Not. It's, uh, what it's are all these mushrooms doing here? Well, it's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna fix that. All right. Time for Dennis the anti or Dennis the drug crusader. <laughs> <laughs> no, you ain't getting high on my watch. Oh no, another tapeworm. Oh, the leash. Mm. Never mind. Fortunately, like all tapeworms, they are extremely weak to axes. <laughs> <laughs> I I should know. Oh no, your magic's down. What are you gonna do? <laughs> oh, bombs. they're resistant to petrify. That's no fun. No, and paralyzed, but it's okay. They die. The dragon's claw seems pretty powerful anyway. Yeah. It's... it's the, the claw is the weakest of the weapons. But to compensate... But, they have but yeah, but to compensate, it murders effects. everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, they just have status effects. Like the cat's claw. Didn't it, like, have poison and paralysis? Or something? Yeah. Cat's claw is poison and paralysis. Uh, the charm claw adds confusion, blind, and para... No, not para. It adds one other thing, and then the le and then um, the dragon claw adds petrify silence. Oh, so 
Does the Alive Forest have its own theme, or does it just use the generic dungeon theme? It uses the uh, forest theme from the very beginning of the game. Man, Mario would be like go crazy in this place. So many one-ups. And just follow the guy with the blue cape. Right. You know, they're called Mad Toads, but they kind of look more discontent than anything. <laughs> it's like, uh, they're on strike. Right. Now is, now is the winter of their discontent. Mm, that's they, right. they, 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 they ate all the mushrooms before, but no, they've decided not to. Yeah. But this entire room has nothing but Mad Toads, which is really annoying. Yeah. Wow. They, they, they look like they like talking to themselves on the battle, or on the overhead map. <laughs> like, blah, 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 blah. They're, practi they're practicing their speech before the uh, union leaders arrive. Right, exactly. <laughs> before, you know, they, they have to negotiate, yeah. You know, it's funny that you're named Dennis, because that's actually the, uh, the name of the husband of Margaret Thatcher. So I think, basically, this whole story is an allegory to, uh, <laughs> her tenure as Prime Minister of the UK. You know what I like about Poison in this game? What's that? It doesn't hurt you while you're walking around. Yeah, yeah like, no, yeah, it doesn't give a shit. It, it only does anything at the end of your turn. Actually, wait, does, do they still do that in Pokemon? Poison hurts you when you still have it? No, Pokemon? that changed. Okay. How long ago was that? Because I remember that in, like, I'm pretty sure it was this gen. Oh, wow. Well, wow. <laughs> They've gone for quite a while with that still intact. I didn't know that. I play, yeah, as I know, I, as you know, I only played, you know, gold last, really, so. Yeah. That's understandable. <laughs> yeah, it, it, was it hit weird. once, it did one damage. Oh, God. <laughs> Kaylee's gonna be feeling that in the morning. And you missed. I did. Yeah. A lot of people missed. Yeah. Oh, well, poison. Mm. Quite a lot of poison in this place, I guess, yeah, so they give you Kylie. I mean, she is quite strong, but mm. at least. There's something, you know, to counter her. Yeah. Crap. But we but we get a sweet prize out of it. Oh yeah, and that is the sword of of one mil oh spell. Meteor. Is that a wizard spell or what? That is in fact the next meteor spell. Or the last wizard spell rather. <laughs> it is quite a meteor spell, yes it is, but Alright, I'll, I'll, I will go find something to test it out on. Alright. Maybe one of the them frogs can help. Eh, not the frogs, they're annoying. Yeah, okay. The trees, need... probably. The haunted trees. <laughs> Inside of trees. <laughs> uh, I love this game. <laughs> yeah, that, that is one thing I do really like about this game, is there's no random encounters. Yeah. It's, uh, it's actually pretty cool, because, you know, a lot of RPGs after this had random encounters. Yeah. They were... oh, one thing I'm talking about in the chat here is that... It... At least from what I've read, mm -hmm. caves now have like designated dark areas where Pokemon will attack you instead of all the just... damn time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's nice. All right, this looks know. this looks like a good spot as any. All right, let's let's uh, cast Meteor. That seems a little wasteful. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> so oh, you wasteful. Missed. That's fine. That's Meteor. Actually, not that good. But that again, that's because I hit. It was spread out to over. It spread out to three people. Right. It, it works like the bombs, doesn't it? Yeah, all magic does. All right. Life focus weak against that attack. Like, oh, I can withstand a meteor storm, but an axe? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I assume they talk like old men. Kind of look like it right now. More experience. Oh, the humanity. Oh, the huge manatee. Oh no, evil scorpion men. Or discord. Men. You mean snippy and men? Thank you very the much. Snippy and men, right? <laughs> okay, I've been, I've, despite being called snippians, their tails are actually a lot deadlier. No, I think they're right. claws. Snippy. Now for another difficult puzzle. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's a very sad tree face. Well, it's okay. I'm gonna stab it in the face. Okay. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> you poked me in the eye, man. What's that? <laughs> that's great. Man, I wish I wish I had this game. Well, I could get it, you know, pretty easily, I'm sure. But... It's on it's the Virtual Console. Oh, nice. And, oh, I can, I mean, I can get it, you know, an emulator. Yeah, there, but, but you say, if you want to play it legally, it's on the Virtual Console. Oh, wow. How considerate of them to have such an old game on that game, on the console. 
Alright, let's all play about the virtual console. Uh, wait, can, can you get on the Wii's virtual console too? Yes. Oh, sweet. Not the Wii U, it's, it's not on the Wii U, but it is on the Wii's virtual consoles. Oh, cool. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll look into that when I get back. Now let me see if I remember break. what the hell to do here. Although I do still have Tales of Zillion to finish. Uh, I think I'm supposed to come over here. <laughs> they have in that game they have party members that do level up with you. <laughs> oh well, but it doesn't have the charm. Well, I don't know. It doesn't have the the old charm that this game has. I, I don't know. I really <laughs> I don't know why. It just <laughs> this game just this game, so... it's just so ref it's just so simple. It is. It really is. Oh, I'm supposed to go over here. But it's like okay. It's like. It's all about you, really, because your party members don't do jack shit once you're finished with <laughs> certain plays. I hope I'm going the right direction, because I honestly, I'm not quite... I know where I... I know generally where I have to go, but not exactly here. Maybe... Just I chop did, them all down. You did read uh, one of the Breath of Fire LPs. Um, you know, I... I see... I mean, I know this, this game's probably a little like that, but, like, still... Uh, yeah, I mean, that looks pretty interesting, too, so... Breath of Fire, um, be prepared to get it sent all over the place for inconsequential reasons. Oh, mm, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, look at that, we have a second row of life bars now. Aw, oh, yeah. Get, I mean, get Breath, of Fire, Breath of Fire 2, you spend a good chunk of the game just trying to clear your friend's name after it. Oh, Bao's name right now, yeah, remember Bao. Or Bosch, I see he was called in. I think it was in the Japanese game, but... It seems like nobody can ever actually get through that game in order to do a, pro a proper LP of it. I mean, there was one. I, I did read that in the archives, but... I guess, yeah. And it was alright, yeah. It seems like... Uh, uh, like that okay, yeah, this is, this is the right direction. Sap the motivation of people. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I can imagine why. Yeah, this is the right direction, okay. It probably has nothing to do with Cat, the anthropomorphic kitty girl that you get who doesn't wear any pants, but... Yeah, there's, well, let's not ask for miracles now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. <laughs> so yeah, this is a big room full of nothing but worms. Great. <laughs> Which pretty so much it... means it's an experienced pinata. Sweet. Let's, uh... I know, you. yeah, you are a bit behind in levels, so let's, uh... I love how this game, like, drowns you in experience, but then gives you a piddling amount of gold. Well, you don't really need much gold. Yeah. I mean, you can, you just really need gold to what, like, get potions and bombs? Yeah, That's pretty it. much you need to stock up on supplies and buy the occasional piece of armor or weapon. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, man, I forgot that. It, yeah, you tend to it, find... Kaylee, Kaylee isn't Reuben there. Yeah, you tend to find a lot of your weapons on the field, or in the field, don't you? Oh, no, what, an ooze. <laughs> oh, oozes, oozes are pretty dangerous. Oh, they are? What do they do? Well, I mean, they're Zap like the you. slimes from before, but uh, they reflect magic. Oh wow, you got double debuffed. Well, it's okay, because you you have some pretty strong melee guys on your team. Well, melee like guys. You, said, you can still blow them the fuck up, but right. uh, yeah, like I said, they will reflect magic if you if you hit try to hit them with it. Oh god, if you tried life against them, would they just? Yes, it would reflect back in your face. And it'd kill it you looks... as soon as it resurrects you. That's looks actually... like they're weak to explosive attack. They are. Yeah. What does any sort of melee attack might do? Uh, well, it's only- happen. they're weak to bombs. I mean, like I said, you can hurt them with other stuff. It's okay. Yeah, they seem like a- I mean, this is the first time you're encountering them. I guess they're kind of a little, a little rare enemy, but... They'll be- they'll- they appear on the higher floors. Uh, okay. <sighs> Chop. It gets a bit flat. It's true. Why'd you attack that one? For more experience, man. Yeah, we are a little bit behind in experience, so... Like I said, I've been trying to avoid grinding as much Wait, as possible, it... but this isn't a really Wait. easy room to catch up in. Did it heal itself? It slide? did. It used a draining attack. Oh, wow. You'd think that the Fang Pyres would have something like that, but... They do have a drain attack. I don't think it actually drains health, though. What does it help? Does it drain it anything? Didn't... It just hurts you. It just hurts? Oh. What about the vampires that later come up? They Did might they... have a proper drain attack, but I—it's been a while. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Imagine the—you know—I thought the, one of the whole perks of being a vampire was that. Well. 
Oh well, but... Oh, you mean... Besides the whole losing your humanity thing and thirsting for the uh, the blood of the innocent? Well, I mean, yeah, perks in it, not like the drawbacks, but hey. If, if, if blood is what your thing is, then yeah, I guess go for it, yeah, but... And, and occasionally, brain-dead teens will pine for you for no adequate reason. Well, that's if you really sparkle in the sunlight rather than just burn. If you're like a vampire, like a proper Romanian Dracul vampire, then maybe, you know, they won't well, fall for you. Cause well, see, that's, that's the whole thing. Ed, the whole time Ever was sparkling, those were actually sparks, like he was starting to catch flame, but he, he just wasn't wearing the right but kind thankfully, of clothes. Thankfully, Bella put it out with her, with her deadly, her, her dead-eyed stare. <laughs> she can extinguish anything with that. Oh, yes. The, the actress who plays her seems to be only good at one expression. Which Man, uses I'm so all the time. fucked up right now. I think I, that's what I like to call the expression. <laughs> I definitely looked like that before when I was uh, inebriated on certain illegal substances. Wink, wink. But hey, enough about me. <laughs> when haven't we been there? Exactly right. When you actually haven't been there. Well, yeah, I wasn't. But yeah, I didn't I'm, think you I'm, were. But... I'm trying to be sympathetic. Thanks, man. It really means a lot. And I mean it. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, this sort of... So why do the forest... So someone answer this. Why do the forest sure. leeches have fireballs? Um... That live in a tree? Well, the fires are very controlled, you see, so they don't burn the entire tree down. And I'm just pulling this out of my ass, and I really don't know. <laughs> well... I mean, haven't you ever heard about the Bombardier Beetle? Well, yeah, but they don't really shoot fire out of their, you know, their, uh, their glands. No, it's, it's more just like an explosive chemical reaction, but... Yeah, it's like, it, it produces, like, it burns, but it, it's not like fire burns. It's not flame, yeah, it's it's just some sort of chemical irritant. Yeah, actually, you know, that's, that's curious. I want to see what actually Bombard Bombardier Beetles spray at you. Oh, here we it go. must be interesting, like uh, having a bunch of uh, of thingies inside you that it could that if ignited and mixed together. Oh wow! Basically, uh, so they have the spray is produced by a reaction between two chemical compounds, hydroquinone and hydrogen peroxide, stored in separate reservoirs in the beetle's uh, abdomen and mixed when needed in a third chamber with water and catalytic enzymes. Wow. Heat from the reaction brings the mixture to near the boiling point of water and produces gas that drives the ejection. Damage caused can be fatal to attacking insects and small creatures and is painful to human skin. Hmm. Interesting. It's quite a quite a biological development that <laughs> that beetle's got. Well, you know, if you if you've got it. A whole bunch of chemicals inside you, yeah, then I might as well put them to use. Exactly. That's right. I literally have fire inside of me. <laughs> Whoa. Why would I ever? It's like, but I don't need to use that. That would be silly. It just makes going to the bathroom a little bit more exciting. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> hey dude, don't set the f urinal on fire this time, okay? I'll try. <sighs> But, you know, like trees, leeches are, you know, well known for their weakness to axes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Haven't you ever chopped a leech in half using your your household giant, giant axe? Well, I mean, I tried using a household giant sword, but he just kind of, you know, he just dodged it. It was weird. <laughs> he was a very fa fast leech. Also, another fun fact, you can still gain experience when dead. Oh, oh that's nice. And now it's time for some actual puzzles. Oh, here comes the spider ball section. Well, if Pretty you just much. hold it down, then you'll automatically grab. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shh. Hey, hey. Don't, don't be giving up the pro strats here, Blast. Yeah, don't don't ruin the surprise. I wanna I wanna play this game for myself and stab trees in the eye with their wait stab faces in trees with in the eyes with mm. my sword and man, this <laughs> is so funny. I just don't. Is it only the sword that opens the way? Yeah. If you do... Yeah, you can only act for the most part. You can only activate switches with your sword. I guess. I guess you kind of, in the case of these tree faces, you slit the sword between their mouth or eyes or something. You can't do that with the axe. I, I guess. guess. 
sure. Oh, a golden skeleton. Ah, uh, but these are no regular skeletons. These are scolders. Scolders. <laughs> oh god. This game. This game slays me. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Kaylee. That was that was helpful. Oh no. <laughs> this isn't good. Oh. Oh god. Wait. He had. Oh Jesus. Wow. Oh, got that. Got out of that one by the skinny teeth. Kaylee could have easily like ended your life there. <laughs> yeah. She, I mean, she nearly, she nearly, nearly blew you away with. A good thing the uh, the status ailments don't persist, you know, uh, when you go to another fight. Yeah. Like I said, if not, I would have just chucked a. Yeah, I know, but still, like, kill potion at her. Yeah, I w it would take you know a lot more resources to get rid of them, I suppose. Oh no, hydro acid. Ah. I guess that's for hydrochloric acid. Nasty. Perhaps or some other sort of acid. A lot of acids are. Um... Though, though I guess sulfuric acid would be worse. Mm. H2SO4. That's right. In fact, I'm taking a chemistry class mm. in the, this year, so I know a little bit about that. In fact, we're just getting on the unit with uh, acids and that, so... Acids are fun to play with. They sure are. Oh, yeah. I was going to be an engineer before I decided to become an accountant. Hmm. I was so going I... to be a physicist before I decided to become a linguist. Uh, well, wait, no, I have to get Before I some. decided I was going to be an accountant, <laughs> I decided... I, I first tried to be an engineer, then I tried to be a paralegal, then I tried to be an engineer again. Oh, wow. Yeah, quite uh, a lot of... That's, uh, that's quite a path. Yeah, I know, really. Yeah, in fact, it, mine wasn't as, you know, multivariate, but still, I was like, I was thinking, oh, phys physics is my deal, and I'm like, oh, no, I think I like languages more, so I think I'll be a Spanish major or something. Yeah, it's mine, a Spanish major. Yeah, mine <laughs> kind of waffled between, uh, it was like, well, you know, I, do, I like, it was comp sci, and then it was engineering, and then I was like, all right, you know what, let's just, let's just stick to math, I'm good at that. Oh, okay, yeah, I was wondering, like, what sort of major you did. Um, I think we went in the wrong side. Oh, well. In fact, my friend is a math major, too. Well, he was. He graduated already, but... And a yeah. minor in comp sci, so... Yeah, we need the... We need the middle... We need the middle hole to go up here. Oh, of course. Yeah, so now okay. I on linguistics and international relations and politics, finally, so... <laughs> yep. If I can be an ambassador one day. I'll be representing you... <laughs> I, Dinkins, will be representing U.S. interests abroad. <laughs> That's hey, it's not the worst idea. Oh no, not at all. That's a thought. Really. I'd vote for you. Thanks. I don't know if I'm gonna run in for run for like you know political office like that, but I definitely like. No, don't. Because I it'll see if you did, that I would immediately lose like all of my, you know, any endearment I had to you would just be gone right then and there. <laughs> what if I promised you? What if I ran for president, and promised you a cabinet position? In a, I, don't, I don't even know what, but I'll think of something. I'll, I'll settle for just a cabinet. Okay, cool. I'll give you a cabinet, a free cabinet. <laughs> Install in your house. Oh right, oozes are not weak to pe not not strong as petrification, so I should, I'm just gonna dragon claw them all. And in my new office, the Department of Fire Emblem, <laughs> I nominate artists. The nom the Department of Playing Video Games all day. Shit, yes. FP and I got that locked down. I exactly right. Yeah. You guys would be natural for it. Oh, he's... Oh, he's strong against Paralyze. He is, but he's not strong against Petrify. So, hmm. <laughs> That's interesting. I guess you just make the gelatin less of a colloid and more of a solid, and then he becomes frozen solid or something, I don't know. And then Paralysis, because he doesn't have nerves, it doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck this game. I mean, not fuck this game, but... Don't try to, try to follow its logic. Yeah, it's... Uh... It'll be, uh, quite a long road. <laughs> it's okay, oh we're, no! We're almost Not done by with... attack. Yeah, we're almost done with this dungeon. Not one damage! Once we go up the next floor, we will be on the top. This is on the tall, tall tree. It is. <laughs> the first version of the tree, tree. Link had to, or, I mean, excuse me, Dennis had to, <laughs> you know, get the... Shit, what do you need to get? Oh, the slingshot in that one, yeah. Thou must endure boredom in order to reach the top. <laughs> can, can, dost thou sense it? My... There are plenty of slimes in my body. <laughs> True. Oh. There are a lot of slimes. And I'm yeah. gonna... I have to kill them all. <laughs> Slay them all. 
Oh, no, that hurt more, a bit more than one damage. <laughs> It's okay, man. Oh no, he's dissolving us. Oh god, no. <laughs> oh no, we are becoming a solution. Oh gosh. No, we're, we're, we're a solvent in his solution. <laughs> no chance of becoming precipitate here, no sir. Mm. Now the skull, the skull cares. <laughs> and then they die. <laughs> <laughs> Not, I think they're, they're just like private first class. <laughs> That's all they are. I see. They never got really through skull training camp. <laughs> these the zombie drill sergeants were too tough on them. <laughs> uh, what are you? Just a basket of bones. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much, sir. Uh, shit. <laughs> you make me want to die again. For real. Hmm. I just love seeing things die instantly. It's so fun. It's great, yeah. Especially, it's like, oh, now look how look how far you've come in this game. <laughs> yeah, look how far we've come from a lowly sword to just literally making things die. Yeah, just, yeah, just <laughs> disassociating your atoms, really. Yeah, just pointing at things and watching them fall over. Yeah, mm. like, eh, that one. <laughs> your wish is my command, sir. Oh man, I'm strong against certain <laughs> status ailments, but I'm not strong against death. That's for sure. So. And if you don't trigger the uh, the petrify, you can always just do damage. That's true. Plus, inflict anything that they're not strong against. Yeah, the, I mean, even though the claws are weak, I mean, and the weakest of the weapons they still do good damage. So they're not bad. Like, they, they, they two shot a lot of things. Yeah. I'm going to instantly kill these skeletons with death. Yes. It's time to redie. <laughs> Oh! Man, I love that. The tree has little tree faces inside of him. Yeah. Right, so yeah, Dude, we are all at the top cool. Yeah, so we are on the top floor now, so we are basically done. <laughs> Only the tree had a little elevator. I guess oh it's man, that skull headbutted you. It did. What an asshole. Yeah, even though he had a perfectly good sword, but oh well. I guess that, what, does a headbutt inflict any status conditions? No, it does not. Oh. So I remember, I... It's just cool, another so diff- it's just a different attack. Okay. So yeah, and right. there's the boss. Oh, it's a chimera, I think. But it's probably going to be renamed and recolored. So it is because this is the actual. This is the actual chimera. This Let me guess. It's going to be called the Manticore or something. Not quite. You the music. All right. Let's see. What is it? It's a G Gidra. Yeah. So huh. yeah. So Gidra is. Yeah, he's weak against wind. That's all we need to say. Huh. You don't say. Ow! Ow! Holy shit! That that I'm stinks. Surprised that skeletons aren't weak against white magic. Yeah, like not so holy to Well, shit. Not. Uh, ow! Ooh. Ooh! I'm gonna headbutt ow. you. I'm gonna headbutt you. That headbutt did critical damage. I was about to say in Guild Wars. I know that there was a attack called headbutt that like. It like cracked armor. If or, no, wait, it dazed someone, so they just kind of walked around. They couldn't really do anything. So. Quick, use life. Yes. Oh, that one. Excuse me. We'll be right back. Well, I guess he can summon earthquakes. That's not too dangerous. But I mean, really, once you kill the sculptures, this is this is kind of a joke. you picked up that paralysis defense though that was actually a while ago that was like that was back before the fire area really yeah this this is a this is a very hard boss guys I can see it He's all disappointed now. He's like, man, this was a bad idea. He's like, shut up, lizard. We're not done yet. We can still do this. But the answer is no. No, we can't.
And, nope. uh, yeah, that's, that's the boss. Terrifying. And once we kill him, everything dies. Hmm, did Dinkins fall out? He, uh, he said he had to do something real quick. Oh, right. So, yeah, so we are four hours in, and we are working on the... We are a third of the way done with the win section of the game. I hope that the there's a point to helping out this giant tree. There is. There is, in ah. fact, a very important point. We murdered we him, Dinkins. We mighty beast. Yeah. We, fu we fired wind at it repeatedly until it fell over. Okay. <laughs> Good enough for me. Oh. This is the point to helping the tree. What's that? Let's see. Uh, what? Hold on. What's going on here? <laughs> Look at the words in the background. I know. I see that. <laughs> he moves. Wow. How nice. Wow. I can see now why they call it the Alive Forest. Yep. And now we're just gonna exit because fuck this place. Ah, I, I see. I see. Um, oh, it's... Ghidorah was actually not a monster from mythology, but also from uh, one of the Godzilla films, actually. So, um... Or Ghidra, or yeah, whatever. Ghidra. Alright, so Ghidorah. yeah, we're in Windia. Can you guess what that means? Uh... That we're gonna see so many fires around. Oh, that the buildings are trying to talk to us. Hey, hey, listen, hey, listen, hey. Guess yeah, what? so you can't hear the really uh, the kind of obnoxious wind sound effect. But anyway, this person has a cupid cupid locket for us. Now, what does that do? Does it make people fall in love with you? Well, it actually makes us immune to confusion. Uh, <laughs> of course it does. <laughs> Well, confusion, I guess, is the same as charm in this game. Uh, yeah, I suppose so. I mean, it, it just it, it's just more random, you know, because if you're charmed, I suppose it's more like, oh, now you fight for me, but if it's you're confused, it's like, oh, sometimes I can hit the enemy, and sometimes I hit my own allies for lots uh, of damage. <laughs> is this the game where your character does a, a funny dance after going to sleep in an inn? Of course it is. It is indeed. This is, yes. <laughs> Take a rest. Yeah. Here we go. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Posing, running through beds, and then taking the complimentary beverages, stealing their stuff. Yep. <laughs> All right. So since we got that, we the only thing we really need to do here is come up and talk to this guy. Yeah. I mean, this game was made in 1992. No, right, not this guy. When they had complimentary mini bars, but nowadays in hotels, it's real expensive. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, uh, is it this house? Those were sure the days. That it, Not this one. There was at least one jerk who would just go in and take everything from the from the complimentary areas. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. He'd be an adventurer off on some sort of you know important mission. Like or he'd Artix, just be a jerk. Like Artix, who's just bouncing around everywhere. That's right. See, if we're gonna go up on top of the inn. Oh, good thing they planted saplings on the inn. <laughs> Otherwise, we wouldn't. What a chocobo! I was about to say, hey. Where's the Final Fantasy here? There is no Final Fantasy. Oh. Alright, so yeah. No, no. This is actually a Mario game. <laughs> it Silly is. <laughs> Alright, so this guy. This guy is Otto. And he's gonna, Otto. Do, and he's gonna do stuff for us. Like but, what? But not right now, because his daughter got stuck up in a tower. Oh. And we can't go... The Rainbow and... Road? Hey, that's a pretty hard race course, you know. Yeah, I see. We're going to go into Norse mythology now. Yes, we are. All right, so, uh, spawn here. all right, so Blastinus, if you would be so kind as to cue up the Mount Gale music. Okie dokie. Windia. <laughs> Mount Gale. So yeah, this is a mountain, which is not windy. Oh, we've been lied to. Are there at least windy enemies here? There are. This is the first instance of... Oh, what the hell? This How's that is... bridge still standing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, this is this isn't very metal, but it is very uh, kind of dramatic. Oh. oh look! It, oh, that must be a vampire. That is a vampire down there. Very good. Yeah, yeah I remember things. But oh, there's first... another sculpture. <laughs> Oop, no, do not use arrow. We're just gonna. Oh, a squad of sculptures. That's right. They've got the full platoon this time. Oh God. Well, at least as many as they can fit on the screen at one time, but hey. Alright, so there's a fun attack. That's Doom Powder. Oh. Oh. Mm. What? <laughs> it's not fair. 
That is, fun fact, that is the only ailment in the entire game you do not get immunity to. Oh, instant death? Oh, what a shame. Oh, she killed herself. <laughs> Damn it, those sculptures are more than I thought. It's true. You should just try dragon clawing one of them. That's what I did. It did not work. They're, they're pretty good soldiers in it. They found a way to <laughs> instantly kill someone on the battlefield. Well, Spr they've got doom powder. They sprinkle a little bit of doom powder on the enemy and he'll just, you know, fall over. Oh, wow, cool. And apparently, you know, the, the, the existence of living skeletons is so confusing for Kylie, she dug her axe into her own brain a couple times. <laughs> Where does this powder even come from? Yeah, what? They grind their own bones? Jeez, what, what's going on here? Uh, forget it. I'm asleep. But we have the power of explosives. And that scatters bones everywhere. Yes! Yep. It's like an, um... First fight of the dungeon, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. This can only go uphill from here. Oh. Well, hey, speaking of uphill, what is that enemy uphill? So All right, like that a, right there? Yeah, the green thing. The green thing? We'll get to him in just a second. This guy... Uh-oh. That's what? the boss. I, okay. <laughs> hey, how you doing? What, 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 what is... What, what, even, what even is he? Like, what? <laughs> he looks so silly. Oh, uh, water hags. Oh, of uh, course, in the wind uh, area. Uh, I saw her again. Good. <laughs> I remember the desert hags were in the what? The, the ice area, yes. The ice area. <laughs> the desert now, hags are in the ice area, the water ones are in the wind area. <sighs> they are just so confused. I, I think they're just a little bit special is all. <laughs> they're just they're just always lost. Hey. I mean look at look at that face. Is that not a face you could love? It's a face only a mother could love, more like. Eh. Well, or maybe, or maybe Tristan. I don't know. <laughs> hey, hey, don't talk bad about Tristan's mother. I'm so, oh yeah, sorry. Forgot that she was a hag. So she actually. And now we have a vampire. Oh god, here we go. Now he bonds your blood. Here comes Gabriel Belmont for reals this time. Yes, he can heal himself. Not very well, he much, tried, but he does. He tried turning into a bat, but he can't fool us. Right. I'm sorry. This is Gabriel Belmont. This is that little pansy Silva Cruz. I hate that guy. I like the games, but I hate that guy. Who's Soma Cruz? He's a uh, protagonist of Castlevania, Aria of Sorrow, and Dawn of Sorrow. For the GBA and DS, uh, respectively. And what's bad about him? I don't know, he just seems a little like... Eh, he's kind of boring to me, really. It's like, oh man, wow, I got... I know, I know Castlevania doesn't really go like realism at all, but still, it's just like, oh, now that Dracula's castle's in a fucking lunar eclipse over Japan in, you know, the year 2040, like, what? It's also, it's very anime, is what he's getting. Oh, it's extremely, it's, yes. Extremely. Oh, yeah, and having a water enemy when, when we're both strong against water. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's okay, we're basically done with the dungeon. <laughs> There's, oh, that was fast. There's the bo oh the boss is the boss is the boss is right there. Yeah, he's up ahead. But we got to go up top first. This is the wind temple-ish area, right? Or is this Are we place going up top it? because there's something important? Yes, there is. Also, this fuck. Also, vampires are assholes. <laughs> oh, they have wind magic. They do, and wind magic hurts like a motherfucker. Oh fuck! They had healing spells. Holy shit! Oh god. Fortunately, we have explosives. Right. Hi, explosives. Hi. Yeah, I get it. Good one, Blast. I thought so. <laughs> Alright. Uh, wait, no, I need to go over here first. There it is. Here's the chest. We just have to fight, fight off uh, Alucard's father again. Fathers, excuse me. No, these are just vampires, not Dracula's. Oh, okay. Hmm. Alucard had three dads. Yeah, it was. It was. <laughs> he he started in Full House, don't you know? He was actually one of the oldest ones. Silly, uh, crazily enough. Oh dear. Sonic Boom has the unfortunate capability of confusing. 
and it's wind magic as well. Oh. <laughs> I'm having difficulty imagining Dracula doing a sonic boom. <laughs> it's actually Guile was turned into a vampire, you understand? Colonel Guile. Alright, so yeah. Helm. So there's the Apollo Helm. It's nothing but a moon helm, but with more armor. Okay. But it's nice to have. It'll boost our HP, it'll be boost our um, defense a little bit. Yeah. We could, then we could use that. Is it only? It's only against uh, physical attacks, not spells, because persistence governs that, right? Yeah. Okay. It'll help us not die quite as badly. That's about it. Okay. Good. Ah. <laughs> All right. Hmm. I wonder if the uh, AI can actually just react to your to your actions. The AI does actually. Yeah, it did heal that vampire. Mm. Yeah, the AI. What it, the AI always picks its turn, no matter whether it's friendly AI or enemy AI. It always decides what it's doing when exactly when it reaches its turn in the order. Huh. That's cool. And that's pretty, you know, pretty cool for a game, you know, quite an old game like this. Uh, all right, so now let's go fight the boss. Okay. I hope the boss was a bit more inspired than the dungeon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, we'll see. I mean, I don't even know what it is from the map. It just looked like a giant, like, squid with I two think, arms. I think that you'll like it. <laughs> I hope so. Ow! I better. Ow! Damn. Vampires hurt. Shit. If I don't like it, there will be consequences. Oof. Also, he's very refreshingly honest about things. Oh, good. Who? The boss. Oh, he speaks to you, right? Just like, uh, that one. Well, all, all the bosses seem to have the gift of speech. That's nice. So you're the one who's drained the crystal wind power. Nah, it's Pazuzu. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll never meet him. <laughs> uh, thanks, man. Oh, wait, it's, oh, it's Dullahan. Oh, they actually, I think they actually got that translated uh, right, it seems. Alright, so vampires, as I'm sure everybody knows, is weak to, are weak to wind. The Dullahan, uh... Oh, and he, this guy has awesome attack names. Like, that was the Head Doomerang. <laughs> <laughs> head Doomerang. Does he... I, I hope he throws his, his, his armored head at you. Because that's the picture I'm getting. Yeah, he also has a ton of magic defense, so you oh, kind of gotta... Oh, he doesn't even have a head. Oh my god. I just noticed that. Yeah, and then he has Doom Dance, which is a slightly more accurate version of Doom Powder. Uh, Dullahan, also Gonshan, I think Gonshan pronounced like that, meaning without a head in Irish is a type of obscene Mary. Okay, headless rider, seen you know, on black horse, carries his or, his or her own head under one arm. The flesh of the head is said to have the color and consistency of moldy cheese. Huh. Oddly specific. And as you will notice, his horse has no head, and right. he is holding one, I, oh shit. Oh, did he, did he shock you and kill you? Yeah, oh, that thing oh. does almost 500, that thing did over 500 damage. You'll never get the crystal of wind. <laughs> I'll kill you before you do. Oh, like, there is no, there is no point to you even coming here. But let's have a fight anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yes. Why not? See, he's a good sport about things. Right. He is. Very nice. I join him for a spot of tea, but you know, I'm afraid he wouldn't quite appreciate it without having a head. Ball. <laughs> well, he does have a head. That. It's under his arm. All uh, right. Yeah. I mean, he, I guess he could just take the tea cup and. Or like open his beaver and then pour the tea into his mouth, but but fe the feeding his horse and you know letting it drink would probably be a bit more of a challenge because it doesn't have a head at all. From what I can see. But yeah, he's got a. Uh, yeah, he also has a rapier attack which he hasn't used yet, but it's really not that impressive. Like, well, like why, why do I need to use my sword if I can just chuck my head at you? <laughs> so he has thunder beam. Thunder beam is the big one you got to watch out for. But head doomerang hurts like a bitch. Oh, if you've only got. He's like a dark knight. It seems. Cast spells and use swords. Dark knights can't cast spells. Yeah, they can. Dark knights. Oh, yeah, there's the rapier. It does oh. a lot of damage. Ow! Ow! Oh dear! That's oh, holy shit! And, and she's dead. still standing. I know, but still, that that would have definitely one shot Ardix, but like, oh, now she's dead. No. I mean, I mean fatal. Excuse me. I shit. Oh, look what you did. No! Oh, God. Oh, yeah, we're dead. 
<laughs> oh dear. Yeah, head Doomerang on Cut. one person does about 800 damage. <gasps> this guy, wow. Dullahan is... <laughs> he doesn't fuck around. No. This game isn't as easy as they say. No, it's not. I don't even know if they say it's easy. Oh no, they do. Oh, they do. They do. They definitely say it's easy, but yeah, no, this is not a game you can take lightly. Oh, just because oh. just because you have magic is really overpowered doesn't mean that you doesn't mean that you can take it easy. Right. Because what if you cast life on him? What would that actually do? It would do nothing. No. Oh. Not even a little bit of damage. Let's see. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry you had to show that to me. It's just to prove a point, but hey. No, it's okay. <laughs> Anything to prove Dink gets wrong. <laughs> Fucking head doomerang. I love that tactic. Head doomerang. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great. <laughs> like, if there's any Final Fantasy game that I'm ever gonna play ever, it's this one. <laughs> He said it's really easy, but it's it's just really fun and simple. Yeah, well, I mean, oh, it's well, really easy shit. until you get to Dullahan. <laughs> he doesn't like being disturbed. Oh. Stab. He's not polite to stab people when they're sleeping. Yeah, I mean... I, I tried it before, and my sister didn't like it. It's like one of those unwritten rules of etiquette. Right, yeah, yeah. It's like, it goes without saying that you should... You know, <laughs> The Dullahan Code of Honor pro like, prohibits it, but, you know, this guy goes against wow. it. You were, like, this far from having Kylie get knocked down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He said, this is this not yeah. a battle of luck, per se, but... Ah, fuck. Oh, his horse is slumping over now. It is. You killed his horse, man. It's okay. I think gonna... you killed it again, actually. Shit. I assume that Dullahan's undead. Okay. Right. Well, this is about. This is either gonna go really well or. Yep, we're done. Oh no. Right, let's see. Uh, Unseelie court of fairies consists of darkly inclined fairies. Uh, no offense is necessary to bring down their assaults, unlike the Seely court. Hmm. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the yeah the Dullahan yep definitely is from that court because he just kind of. Yeah, well, at least he told you about the zoos. Yeah, he's strong. just like, yeah, what a, he was like, yeah, what ass, bro. Like, yeah, jolly good of you, sir. Eh, no problem. I, I didn't like that Pazuzu guy anyway. He got on my nerves. But yeah, um, there's my terrible Irish accent. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> this could be a serious problem. <laughs> it really? Wow, yeah. So head doomerang, by the way, <laughs> yes. I believe is is supposed to be a a, a reference to the the ending of Sleepy Hollow, where yeah. Headless Horseman does toss his head, head at uh, Ichabod Crane. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> was that story like, oh, like they're, ch like, the, like, the townspeople were trying to, like, pull a prank on Ichabod, but it was actually, the Headless Horseman was actually quite real, and I'm like, oh, okay. I can't remember, yeah, I can't really remember all that much about that story, but I think that was pretty much it. Alright. Okay. So we are out of... Uh, yeah, I guess... Oh, I guess they are unfortunately really... out of magic, so... Time to get bombing. Um, actually, we're gonna, actually, I need someone on heal duty, so we're gonna have Kaylee go stab him for a bit while I keep everyone alive. A oh, Washington Irving. Okay, that's the guy you need. You know, considering how powerful well, Hepzir is, you should probably just make it multi-target all the time. Wait, did Irving write... Oh, what else did he write? Oh, he wrote, um, he wrote, a uh, Rip Van Winkle. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that could have been uh, very fatal. That yep. could have been, yes. Yep, it was Rip Van Winkle. That's good. Fortunately, he's content to keep missing with Doom Dance, so I'm just going to keep ch chopping his head off. Dance. You know, to the extent that we can. Yeah, right, yeah. He definitely crippled his horse. Oh, oh shit, holy crap. He just became a giant. <laughs> well, no, he's running at us. It's a perspective trick. Oh, sorry. Yeah. But it looks like, See? oh yeah, he's got red. You can't hair. run away from the head, Doomerang, brother. 
Oh man. Yeah, he doesn't have a rapier. That's not a rapier. <laughs> that doesn't look like a rapier. I could buy it. Eh, maybe like a fence. But he's oil. dead. Right, he's dead. Again. No. Hey. So yeah, that's it. I have to. I have to give him credit. That's a pretty. It's pretty good. You know, they translated that nicely. Dullahan. That was uh yeah that was Mount Doom. And um and uh Medusa and Stino, yeah. but still you know. All right, so now that oh, we've murdered him. Oh, it's Pazazu. Yeah. So now. Uh, so Pazazu, now yeah. yeah. So now that we've murdered him, the wind has stopped for a little bit. Oh good. Now the windows will stop trying to talk to you. Yes, <laughs> I hope so. Do the wake up dance. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, Pazuzu was the king of the demons of the wind in Babylonian mythology. So, oh, wow, that's huh. well. Guess who? Guess who the next boss is? Is it? it no, it's 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 Gilgamesh. Nah, you got me. Oh, is, is <laughs> the boss the Chocobo? Yes. <laughs> yes. It's actually the Chocobo from thirteen two. All right. So Otto runs off, and he has now created Rainbow Road. <laughs> and he tells us about the gimmick of the next dungeon, which is really dumb. You must travel on these go karts. <laughs> well, oh. wait, is it actually really close to that? Oh dear. <laughs> How did this this game this game prophesied Super Mario Kart 64? <laughs> mm. All right, right, problem solved. Pazuzu. We can go home now. Oh good. Is that Pazuzu right there? Are you normal? That's normal. <laughs> Okay, your dad's waiting for you. Wait, what did she- what? What did she do there? She, like, jumped on the wall? <laughs> Before she left? Hold up, I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh, no, it's the evil bird Garuda, the bird man. No, ah. he's gonna try and muffle me. No, don't look at my face. I'm so embarrassed. No. <laughs> That's what birds sound like, I think. Oh. I will not be silenced. Well, that was easy. We'll live on. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, there he is. Is that Pazuzu? That is Pazuzu. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Wait, where'd he go? Oh, there he- Oh, oh. Sorry, Square Soft. I, I knew you better than that. You fooled me. All right, so here is the dungeon gimmick. When we go up or down, we move we move with two floors at a time. And on every even numbered floor, there is a switch. If we press it, the elevator can't move past that point. What? Huh? He's on an elevator and he keeps on running away from you. Yes. Okay. But he has wings, why did the <laughs> Why does he need to use an elevator? Oh, he'll never expect this. I'm a bird god. <laughs> Use the elevator. <laughs> I think that was his blind reasoning. I hope. But yeah. So this dungeon with the he 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 at the end. Yeah. Uh, precisely. But yeah. Unfortunately, we have to go all the way to the top of the tower before we can start moving down the even floors. <sighs> Holy shit! <laughs> Fortunately, it is only seven stories tall. I know. But... Still, that's that's quite a convoluted gimmick for the one place. So yeah. you just uh, go up uh, three go, times. Yeah, then. we go up three Wait. times, then we come down three times. Wait, this isn't the final place, is it? This is the location of the final uh, crystal. Oh. So, wait, so if we do this, then it's the end of the game. Oh. No, oh, we no, have. We, still, we still have to fight the oh. evil dark king. Uh, yeah. After this, one. we have two dungeons. Okay, good. I was about to say I don't want the game to end, the game to end now. It's going so strong, really. I mean that seriously. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I really am, yeah. I never thought I'd enjoy a Final Fantasy game, but here I am. Well, this this game, it dispenses with all the usual, like, convoluted villain motivations and things like that. Basically, yeah. anything involving characterization has just been thrown out the window. It's like, yeah, it's a thing, just go do it. <laughs> yeah, really it is. Even the exposition guy doesn't say much, and that's you know, that's crazy considering you know a lot of exposition guys and games for the future like Capora Gapora, well, fucking owl man or owl. Uh, yeah, that uh, big empty spot up there is where he was like where he would be if the elevator was on this floor. Ooh, Beholder, that reminds me of uh, one of my favorite Twilight Zone episodes. Mm. Uh, and I have people, man, that's such a good. Episode. 
Oh, I forgot. The, um, the Cupid Locket also protects us against blind. Oh! That's nice. I don't know how they... Don't know how that happened, but alright. Well, think about it. The Cupid Locket, it protects you from being blind and from confusion. <laughs> that sounds kind of ironic, almost. Yeah, the... The reason why you, you see all these monsters, whatever, is because... Final Fantasy originally basically just borrowed from the D&D Monster Manual. Really? Oh, oh it Mantic did. Like, it was, like, copy oh, yeah, yeah. from the D&D Monster Manual. Oh, yeah, Manual. the Beholders? Yeah, oh, definitely. <laughs> In fact, wasn't there actually an enemy called the Beholder that was a giant eye in yes. the D&D Manual? Yeah, yeah, okay. There's a Sphinx who looks actually positively frightening. Actually, that's the Manticore. Oh, Manticore, right. But who just looks like the Sphinx. Looks positively frightening when you damage her enough. <laughs> like, it Jeez, that face! It's so... I mean, it's not really all that scary. It's, I'm just, it's just unsettling, sort of, for such an old game. Well, if, if I was getting myself axed in the face, I'd be pretty mad. I know, I know, I would be too. It's just, I don't know if I'd pull that scary of a face. Blah! Oh, he hides his other heads. <laughs> That's cool. Blah. Blah. <laughs> hey! Thing I'm holding this choke point. Oh well, not for long, really. Yes, they have the tactical advantage, forcing you to hit them, hit them one at a time. Exactly. Yeah. But well, um, doesn't do them much good because they're not as uh, solid as I don't know, like Fire Emblem Seven or Fire Emblem Knights or anything. So they can't hold choke points at all. Yeah, but unlike Fire Emblem Knights, they can explode on you. Oh, right. I forgot about that. I always thought the holders were just giant floating eyeballs. Where the tentacles come in? Um, well, they, no, they are. They definitely are in Dungeons Yeah, they definitely have tentacles. Oh. Oh, they do? Yeah. Even d and &D? I didn't know that. Hold up, let me see. Oh, you're right, you're right. They do. In fact, I could show you. Uh, let me just see. Hold up. Yeah, yep, see, there he is. He just exploded on me. And, oh, wow, that was close. Back. Ouch. Let me link it to the Skype chat. Here's some of the beholders from D&D. In fact, they look, yeah, they look quite a lot like the ones here, so. Except they don't have, like, tentacles that, like, hold them upright on the ground. They just seem to have them sprouting out of their head. The tops of their heads, I mean. Because it's just funny. Me a lot of taco demons from Doom. Yeah, yeah, they were giant eyeball things, too. With teeth. And, right. And, but the, and they have Doomstare. I forgot but about the, that. But the Beholders, they also have teeth. Well, I'm saying that uh, that's kind of what reminds me so much about the Hackademons. Oh, okay. They oh, have I you the, yard, the giant floating eyeballs with the rows of teeth. I thought you were looking at the Mystic Quest uh, Beholders, but... Yeah, they don't have any mouths. But... Anyway, let's, let's fight some more Birdmen. Birdmen with wind magic. Fuck these guys. Die. Ooh, ooh. Die, furries, die! Hmm. I like the about these... Oh. Sorry. No, no, it's okay. You can say first. I like how quickly these fights go. Like, you you attack them, it just goes immediately to the fight without any sort of a ceremony or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it happens, and then they die. Uh oh, uh oh, it looks like there's gonna be a dull hand clone right there. There is. There is indeed a dull hand clone. What's he called? Is he called the Headless Horseman? I don't no, remember what he's called. That wouldn't fit in the title box. It'd be like Headless Whore or something. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Manticores. Manticores are assholes. You guys supposed to look like them. I should. I know man Manticores, I think they're from like Persian mythology. That sounds right, but I'll admit I don't. I'm not. So oh, oh no, they are. Uh, let's see. The Manticore, early Middle Persian, uh, holy shit. Martiachwar. <laughs> That's quite a name. Uh, a Persian legendary creature similar to the Egyptian Sphinx. Oh, well, it actually is similar to the Sphinx. <laughs> what the hell? In fact, I'd say it looks almost like it. It is. Well, they, yeah, no, it's three well, it's I actually kind of impressed. They've done their homework more than I thought they did. <laughs> yeah, really. It's just like some of the names that they mistranslated. But that's, I guess that's more the fault of the localization team, but whatever. 
let's be fair. This was 1992 Square. There is no localization team. I'm sorry. The fault well, of the Japanese people who may have known a little bit of English. This game is primarily American-made, I believe. Really? Um, yeah, it is. It is mostly a product of Square Enix USA, or uh -huh. would have been SquareSoft USA at the time. Right. But uh, but yeah, no, it's that's yeah, that's pretty cool. So the Manticore, anyway, similar to the Egyptian Sphinx, body of a red lion, a human head, three rows of sharp teeth like a shark, sometimes bat wings, sometimes bat wings, and a trumpet-like voice. It may be horn, winged, or both. I believe we have the wing. We have the winged variant. I see. Yes. And yeah, def the, I think one of the defining features of the Manticore is it's a uh, scorpion-like tail, but I, I don't really see it here. But oh well. They yeah, got a lot of the features right, so <laughs> good on them. Good on them, Squaresoft. Good on you, Squaresoft. Too bad you don't exist anymore. Well, they do exist, but they did a merger. That you don't exist as such. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I see, so Squaresoft is a business entity, it's been dissolved to consolidate, is what you're saying. I suppose that's correct. I mean, I'm not the business guy. You are, but, you know. Yes, I am. Oh, wait, yeah, these guys aren't resist. These guys resist petrification. Anyway, speaking that was... of Manticore, so, they're... It devours its prey whole and leaves no clothes, bones, or possessions of the prey behind. The Manticore myth was of Persian origin, where its name was Man-Eater, early Middle Persian Martia, man as a human, and Khwar, to eat. The English term Manticore was borrowed from the Latin Manticora, itself derived from the Greek rendering of the Persian name. Manticora. <laughs> okay. Sounds cool. Cool, cool yeah. Alright, so, so these are sorcerers. Oh, so no! Don't look at me! Oh, okay, never mind, I'm good. <laughs> You can't trust wizards. You cannot. It's true. I don't know why These we guys keep look like the type of shotguns everywhere. I know, all right. Oh, an earthquake! Oh! God damn it! I am cured. Now I'm back. Now I put my hood over my face and meditate, just like I was always. No, no, not again. Not this no. time. No. My life is paid. My. <laughs> I'm going to write in my diary. My <laughs> life is pain. Signed, sorcerer number one. <laughs> they all have Patrick Stewart's voice, you understand? Um, um there's your question. Stewart. They're Thantos. Phantos? Oh, oh Thanatos. Oh. Yeah, Thanatos. Oh, that's cool. I thought you said Phantos, like the, the enemy from uh, Mario. No, no. It's Mario 2. Oh. <laughs> the Fanta demons. <laughs> yeah, okay, so they're... Manifestations of the Greek god of death. Okay. And the headless horseman. That... I can buy it, you know, if, if they didn't have medieval armor, but oh well. <laughs> Look, could you buy it in Persona 3? Well, I, do, I don't know. I've never played that game. That's the one with the anime Hitler, right? No, that's Persona 2. Oh, darn. Wait, seriously? Yes. yes seriously. Anime Hitler with sunglasses on, no less. Ah. These, these sorcerers seem to have everything. They Except do, Nosferatu. and they're Except kind Nosferatu. of annoying to fight. Except Nosferatu like sorcerers from Awakening. And that means... Well, actually, no, they do heal themselves, so there's that. Yeah, they can heal themselves. Yep. So maybe they do have Nosferatu. Yeah, getting rid of the guy who blows him up is a good idea. Blows himself up, that is. I like, yeah. the, sor I like the sorcerer class in Awakening. They seem pretty... pretty good. Kind of like druids, but they can use animal magic as well, and not the sacred stone, but whatever. In fact, they're the only ones who can use dark magic. Unless. So what exactly do the uh, cans of soda do? Uh, oh, the refreshers? Nothing. Wait, nothing at all? That's not. That sounds like. Okay, uh, you know how in battle sometimes it'll say, like, um, your defense was lowered and shit like that? Yeah. That's what they do. That's what they fix. That's it. They just fix that. Oh, I thought that. Just, you know, lasted mm. until the battle ended. Yeah, it does. But, ah, instant death. Eat oh, that. so okay, so they're actually completely useless then. Yes. Wow. How nice. <laughs> and apparently he is not weak against grenade. He is well, not. I mean, I, I guess they they took a you know a slightly free interpretation of the chimera because you know it should be. It should have a snake's tail, not a... 
snake's or a dragon's head, but oh well. <laughs> eh, close enough. Eh, yeah, I know. I mean, I'm willing to, I mean, the Dullahan, I imagine, is a bit more, you know, uh, obscure, so... And they got that you know, pretty much down. So, I can forgive that. Oh, fuckers. And Pazuzu as well. But I oh don't yeah, know Pazuzu he... is pretty much exactly like you think he is. Oh, but unfortunately, he's not a bird in mythology, but it's okay. He's the body of a man, the head of a lion or dog, eagle-like well, eagle -like talon feet. Okay, I guess yeah, he has you got that. that. You got Two that. pairs of wings. Okay, he has that too. Uh, he has one pair of wings. Oh, one pair? Enough. Okay, never mind. Scorpion's tail and a serpentine penis. Hey, I, I don't remember that part. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I think that I, pro I would have remembered. <laughs> And now he uses his thrust, pelvic thrust attack. It leaves you confused. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, it does. <laughs> I, I don't know why they thought that was the, the ancient Babylonians and Assyrians thought that was important enough to mention, but okay. <laughs> Whatever you say, guys. You can't forget the uh... the serpentine penis. <laughs> I mean, come on, yeah. yeah. That's just that's a core that, part of the. That's defense. the that's the icing on the cake. If you will. Like, it, his, his character just doesn't work without it. I suppose not. Let's see. Alright, um, he's de often depicted with his right hand pointing upward, left hand pointing down. Alright. The demon of the southwest wind, you known for bringing famine during dry seasons, locust during rainy seasons, so he's not a very nice god. Alright. No, he's kind of an asshole. Yeah, he really is. Pazuzu was said to be invoked in amulets, which could bat the powers of his rival, the malicious goddess Lamashtu. Was believed to cause harm to mother and child during childbirth. Well, what, what about famine and locusts? That's not very, you know, that doesn't sound very beneficent. Is it, is it just me or do these wizards have cat ear hoods? Um, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> they're, they're, excuse me, sir. I'm, I'm lost on the way to the fur cod. Can you direct me? <laughs> I can imagine that. Oh, man. Well, no, 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 it's that's their ears. Oh. You can see it when they're knocked oh, yeah, down. Yeah, I know, but still, I think it's funny to think about. <laughs> they have little cat ears. One is not too old to enjoy the delights of Furcon. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, Thanatos can cure, too. Uh, you know, the god of death. Yeah, he's got it. He just had a good inheritance scheme. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. We're good. Momentary hiccup. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's, it looked like the, the yeah, video had was... a little a, a small flip. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're still good. Okay. Yep. Beholder's dead. Manticore's dead. Now, Thanatos attacks with Thunderbeam, just like he did in Mythology. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I can't. I can't hold them to you know the like mythological standard and everything. That'd just be silly. Said, I've got Look, man, again. he's got a fucking head doomerang. That's all you need to know. Oh, does he actually attack with head doomerang? Occasionally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder what that would have been if translated to the Greek. Um, I don't know if they had any concepts of boomerang. So, but so what was in that fancy chest that you walked past? There wasn't a fancy chest. Oh, the the chest at the top. That's yeah. the coin. That's what we need to go to the final dungeon. Alright, see. Oh, so you need to hijack the elevator and take it to the top? Let's see. Uh, in Greek mythology, Thanatos, meaning death, from the verb, uh, let's see, Thines uh, Thinesco, to die, be dying, was the demon personification of death, minor figure in Greek mythology, often referred to but rarely appearing in person. Let's see. He looks like he was. One of his depictions was a winged and sword girt youth. So. Like that in Skype as well. Mm -hmm. Sword Gert? Yeah, yeah. Put to the sword, I suppose, yeah. Hmm. I don't ah, know. If... We have met the Naga. The Na oh, the Naga. It's probably snake like if I. If... Oh, yes, it is! Good. Man. <laughs> oh, now it's a little snake. Aww. Poor widow snakey. Ooh. So many songs, make it stop. Oh god. 
wouldn't that make them more of a Lamia? Uh, uh, Lamia, La Lamia actually... was the Lamia was the earlier version of them, actually. Yeah, there was a boss called the Lamia, wasn't there? Not a boss, it was a regular oh, enemy. Oh, it was just a regular enemy? Oh, right, right, right. But yes, there was a Lamia. Yeah, well, they like, took a lot of seems, it, it seems like a, a, Lam a Lamia would be a more appropriate for singing you to sleep. Um... Let's see. No, well, and actually, the Lamia... Or Lamia was a beautiful queen of Libya who became a child-eating demon. Sounds legit. So, so, uh... <laughs> I think I might be thinking of something else then. Siren, maybe, but they sung. I don't think they sung you to sleep. They just drew you over. No, they, they, they tried to lure you to your doom. Right, Ooh. especially if you were out in sea and you had a ship. And then you'd be like, oh, steer towards the island where they're singing really nicely. And then they're just like, oh, come closer. And then you, like, crash your ship on the rocks and die. <laughs> And then presumably they'd get some sweet loot. Right, yeah. some fat loot, yeah. Like yeah, the... that was... Well, you see, that's how the ancient sailors covered for being terrible at their job. Right, they had fat loot, like Odysseus's shoulder, you know, or Odysseus's pauldron of intelligence, or something, I don't know. Plus 10 to your intelligence score, and 5 to the slash skill. I don't know. Okay, yep. Then. Those sirens probably cleaned up on it, all, all those sailing folk. And then they, yeah, and then they sold it because it was vendor trash to them. And then they got, you know, oh, they got unique items too. Oh shit! All right, all right Dennis is dead. Oh, no, he's that's not. okay. That's okay. We fixed it. Yeah, you, you walk it off. Walk it off. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So yeah, here's what the switches do. On the even number floors, if you look at. Now the elevator can't go there anymore. All right. Now the. Uh, and then once you once you box uh, Pazuzu in, he actually fights you. Now the Naga's doing a little dance. Naga, a group of serpent deities in uh, Hindu and Buddhist mythology. Okay, cool. All uh, right. Sanskrit and Pali word for deity or class of entity being or taking the form of a very great snake. Specifically the King Cobra, which they turn into after you damage them enough. Cool. Do they have a specific AI routine? I just noticed that they always seem to start with sleep. I I assume they do. It's one of their more annoying oh, traits. It says, a female Naga is a Nagi or a Nagini. Okay. Cool. It seems like Nagas are always depicted as female, though. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I... Uh, no, the SMT one isn't. SMT one is male. I was thinking of a City of Heroes, where there definitely were male Nagas, but... Actually, what's the plural of Naga? I don't know. Um, Naga is a cool... Synonym for Naga is fun. Oh, I guess it doesn't say it here, but... Critical Claw. Indeed, the Critical Claw is the best kind of claw. Yes. Mm. Oh yeah, Dennis is two for two. I wonder how long it's gonna be before we forget that we use that name. <laughs> Dennis? Probably, probably oh, tomorrow. No. Nah, nah. All right, yeah, and now we have all the spells in the game. Nice. Lair is that another? Oh, that's another wizard, wizard spell, isn't it? That is the final wizard spell. It is the best. It is the strongest spell in the game. It's stronger than meteor. Wow. It is. However, the catch is that it's fire elemental. Is why do a lot of monsters resist fire? Um, there are quite a few end game enemies that do. Yes. Oh, oh, do you, like, go to hell or something and there's lots of fire around? No, but, uh, like you said, the catch is basically that Flare is the best in the game, but White, but you say, but White is holy, so nothing resists it. Oh, okay. Oh, hold up. I'll be right back. Hmm. They, they actually used sleep both on Kaylee that time. Yeah, well, no one ever said the AI was good. I guess so. Oh, fucker. E. Cure is annoying. It really is. God damn it. It's a good thing that you're proofed against all their other tricks, though. You know, except just dying. So that, that's... Their damage isn't too bad, I guess. Yep. It's 
Why are you hopping over here? Uh, because this is how we keep going down. I getcha. I'm gonna say, with any luck, Pazuzu will be either on the fourth, will be on the fourth floor, and then we can just clip, flip the switch right there, and then we'll be done with this. All right. I know, and two more Nagas. Ah! All the and Nagas. They, and they put you to sleep. Well, put, yeah, just you, Dennis, to sleep. But <laughs> they still, wait, are they still trying to put you to sleep, or? Yep. What? Dennis will never wake. Oh no, it's an eternal nightmare, oh gosh. It's true. Fortunately, I'm strong as confusion, so I don't care. Fortunately what? Sorry? See, I'm and strong against... another blip. I'm strong against confusion... Oh, shit, something going on? Oh, no, 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 no. It was, uh, just a momentary hiccup again. Oh, okay, we look good. Still look yeah. good. Still looking good. Defeated the enemy. We did. We murdered That's that enemy it. so good. Yeah. Fuck that Naga. Oh, time for another bout with, er, bout with sorcerers. That's right. <laughs> with their cat ears. Did you realize that those aren't their actual... Uh, well, those are their actual ears. I know, but... Actually, wait a minute. Hold on. It kind of just looks like, you know, little bits of hair, but like, you know, kind of... Like, I know they're balding, but like, that's all they've got. <laughs> That's it, man. Don't judge. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? They, I mean, they're probably like thousands of years old, so... If I know... Why'd you switch to the Night Sword? Because the swords give a speed boost. Mm. Very strategic of you to think of that. Well, this is awkward. Well, uh... Alright. Oh, hi. Sorry, am I in your way? <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> I'm just gonna kill you anyway. Yeah, I'm a computer. They got the lion and go get it, right? Hey, you know, two out of three ain't bad. Yeah, I know. Dragon, uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a clever reinterpretation of a snake. Well, snakes are some... Sorry, dragons are sometimes called serpents. Right, yeah, yeah. So maybe that's what they're going for. I don't know. Still. Or maybe they just thought the dragons were cool. I guess so, yeah. I was just, oh, the lion's real pissed. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, well, now he's dead. <laughs> yeah, the lion just does, the lion doesn't take any shit. Oh no, two more sorcerers and this chimera. Ah. Yeah, I'm terrified. Yeah, I, I'm they, really uh, scared. Yeah, they lay a lot of uh, damage into Kaylee, but she just is a doesn't yeah, matter. No. I have life. Nothing in this game is actually difficult anymore. <laughs> right. Except maybe the Dullahan, but I will. I will. He was just one guy. You see, he was a boss. He doesn't count. Right, yeah. Bosses are, you know, they can be actually difficult. Bye, purple lion man. <laughs> Another purple lion man. And goat man. And, and oh. He wasn't like his friends and got two swords for him. He only had he, he could only afford one. Well he was on well he is on the bottom of the food chain here. Uh, that's true, yeah. Oh well. Alright. The poorest Camara. Reminds me, I know there, an, well, there was a God of War enemy in uh that was the base well that was called the Camara, but Oh man, what was it? In like in the most recent God of War game, you only fought one Camara. That's a letdown because in God of War 3 you fought at least like four, so. Then they were like like mini boss like enemies. But okay. They were fun to fight. Gargoyles, not impressive. Yeah. Fuck them gargoyles. I mean they're kind of like they're like mob though, so I guess they're, you know. Although it, in a nice little in a nice touch with regards to uh continuity, you cannot petrify them. <laughs> that's that's oh yeah, wow! <laughs> They thought of a lot of things. Wow, that's... <laughs> Man, I'm so impressed. This game is, you know. <sighs> wow. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh sorry. <laughs> that damage you did, eh? Doesn't matter. No, we're gonna no. sing you to sleep or, or not. They've been Silent. exploded. They can be killed now. Right. If it bleeds, you can kill it. And, well, they bleed. 
They're not very good at healing themselves if they're only, like, a scratch. Well, like, to be, they seem to... Yeah, I mean, well, to be fair, if they did, they would be basically impossible to kill. Right, yeah, if they just kept healing each other. Oh. That'd be pretty miserable. Indeed. Alright, All right, we need to head... Oh no, Kylie! Away. Stop being a snowman and help us. See if I can find a God of War Chimera for you guys. I'm sure I can. Hmm. Is it all gritty and bloody and such? Oh no, it's not. It um does have the snake is its actual tail, but it has it's not a dragon. It's a snake. Um, Basically, it's not as cool. No, it's 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 not as cool as the 1992 Chimera. Oh yeah, that was a good model. It was. But I, I mean, this one's actually pretty cool. And then we just dra and then we dragon clawed everything to death. The end. <laughs> so first, mm. you like when you fight him in God of War, like first head you destroy is the snake head, and it like it tries to grab you and slam you on the ground or spit poison at you. Then you just chop it off, and then you fight the lion who stands up on uh his, his back legs and like shoots fire at you because that's what lions can do. And scratch you, you know, which is more what lions can actually do. But hey, man, I don't know where you've been, but I've seen my fair share of fire-breathing lions. <laughs> well, you know, they especially exist. They existed in ancient Greece, but they were hunted to extinction, unfortunately. Ah, I see. I know, right? What a shame. Kratos probably dealt the finishing blow to them, but and then once well, you uh, oh dear. then you you like climb on the lion head and start stabbing it repeatedly, and then, then like stab its eyes out. And then finally the goat head comes into play and he tries to charge at you. And he also breathes fire, which is pretty nice. <laughs> well, that Why am I not surprised that you have to stab it repeatedly? Because it's God of War. <laughs> oh, that what a shame. Anyway. Yeah. No, like, I've, never, I've never really been able to get into the God of War game just because every, everyone is so... It, Irredeemably jerkish, like it, I know, there's I mean, nobody who you can actually root for. I mean, maybe Kratos' wife, but she died because Kratos killed her. <laughs> well, shit. Oh, unfortunately, yeah. The, like before the beginning of the first game. Well, whoops. And his daughter too. You know, who's pretty innocent, but she had a little bit of more of a role in God of War: Chains of Olympus, if I remember right. I think, Chains, I think Chains of Olympus was the like the prequel one, wasn't it? That, yeah, that was actually the well, not the first one chronologically. It's like the second one. The first one chronologically was Ascension, the most recent game. But Chains of Olympus was like yeah, it was before God of War one. That was where that was where Kratos had to kill. Uh, who was it? Uh, Persephone. Yeah, because she was she threatened to destroy the world with the Titan Atlas. Scheme. Wow, this game isn't taking it easy on yet. No, yeah, no. this game is kind of no, it's kind of being a dick right now. Yeah, they have sorcerers healing themselves like that. Well, you know what? You know what? Time for arrow. That's right. Or first, no, time for them to act first because they're faster than you. Really? It's okay. The sorcerers are they're, they're weak to win too. Hmm. I have studied all forms of magic, but. I don't really know about wind. Oh shit! <laughs> no, not another one! Yeah. Alright, well, we're almost there. <laughs> yeah, you're all, you, you have a very interesting old man voice. Yeah, I've practiced. I mean, excuse me, I've practiced. Oh, it's a beholder. Oh, who cares? This one's just a beholder. I don't give a shit. They can all die. They suck. Time to blow them away. Oh, first, you get shocked. You know, Wizards, man. I know. They're such assholes. I think they own the place. I, I always know, thought right? they were kind of, sorcerers are kind of OP in Awakening. Yeah. That's, that's how I like. That's why I like them though so much. And our prize for that bullshit? Oh man, can't wait. Excalibur. Yes. Oh, hey. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's the final sword. Oh, it oh. is. It is the best sword in the game. 
What it, what's and it, it, what's it, and its power, it, comparatively speaking? And it is, it is the best. Well, not only is it the best sword in the game, but it's the strongest weapon in the game. So it does the most da uh, does the most damage. Does it do? I guess it does some stab wounds. Yes, right? it, it like like the knight sword. It also increases your speed. Ooh, that's very nice. Oh no, Quake! Just because he didn't have enough of that in the lava dome area. <laughs> that's right. But this time it actually hurts you instead of you know becomes a minor annoyance. <laughs> Well, not from this guy. <laughs> Bye. Oh. The Chimera has the Chimera lion head has such a lovely singing voice. But yeah, as you can see, it's, it's, it's compared to the giant's axe. You're right. Oh wow. There you go. Now you're King Arnix of the Britons. Oh, sorry, Dennis. Excuse me. Let's see, is he? No, he's not here either. Huh. Shit, that means he's lower. Oh, Pazuzu, you mean? Yeah. Darn. Well, at least we're getting some good experience from these guys. <sighs> yeah, this has definitely helped. We are caught up a little bit. Yeah. You're, we're almost at Kylie's level. Yeah, she's Should've roughly should've level. Should've done all those challenge rooms, Artix. Yeah. No, well, I was trying to get through this game as quick as possible, so that we weren't like. You big jerk head. <laughs> yeah, so I, I didn't want, you know, this to be like, yeah, turn-based battles, look how great this is. <laughs> oh yeah, wow. that sh the great is a word I associate with turn-based battles usually, that's for sure. But no, this game actually, it seems quite actually much more interesting than I, you know, usually give turn-based battles credit for. Oh, fuck Thanatos. Damn it, Kaylee, I trusted you. Good, did she die? Oh no, she got blinded, okay. Oh, now. Oh, I've healed. Now I've, my horse is bad. Hey. Oh. Well. Oh, oh no, this isn't good. What? <laughs> now is time to run, cowards. No, we never run. Never. Never retreat. No surrender. Exactly. We've never once retreated from battle, and oh, today's well, not we got the head, start. Well, we uh, should have, because we got head doomeranged. Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> 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 oh. Your doom comes from a flying head. The Thanatos laughs heartily at your misfortune. Oh no! You fell on you fell on an axe and died. <laughs> your own axe, if you will. I mean, mm. no less. Oh, D D Kaylee! Actually, no, Kaylee. Actually, I think the actual expression is "Oh no, blade cut you," huh. Watch or "Axe out. cut you." Yeah, or something like that. I don't know. Oh no, you fell on your sword. And what a shiny sword it was! It's His Excalibur. Adventures have ended here. Out of stone, it name means. Apparently, hey, let me let me do some little research on Excalibur here, like I've done for uh other names in this game. Although, in the tales, at least from what I know, Excalibur wasn't the sword that Arthur pulled from the stone. It was actually the sword that the Lady of the Lake gave to him, so... Oh well. Yeah, I think the whole sword, uh, sword that he got from the stone was just, hey, pull this out and you get to be king. Yeah, like it's it, just it's actually end up that using it. king, yeah. Let's see. In Welsh, the sword is called Caled Fulch. Hmm. Okay. In Cornish, the sword is called Talismol. Let's see. The name Excalibur apparently derives from the Welsh Caled Fulch, which combines the elements Caled, Battle Hard, and Fulch, Reach Gap Knowledge. Let's see. So, Alright. Battle Gap. <laughs> Potentially influenced by the medieval Latin spelling Calibs of classical Latin Calibs from. Greek, uh, Khalib's Steel, the name of Arthur's... Wait, where did he... Shit, he's not here either. What exactly? Well, I suppose fortunately we already have an easy way to go up and down the tower, so... Mm. <laughs> I play the monsters don't respawn, right? No, they do not. 
When I play Awakening again, I want to make a sword called Excalibur for Owain. I think it's fitting. Because <laughs> he does have an incredibly Welsh name and all. <laughs> and he's interested in swords, to say the very least. <laughs> of course. <laughs> what is a man without his silly named sword? <laughs> a woman with deep demon or pointy demon spanker. I love that support so much with him and Lucina. I just, I, in fact, I did it on my second playthrough, and that's how much I liked it. I should definitely have uh, branched out, though. I'm sure, if, like, Owain's support with Cynthia is, like, probably magical, but... Oh, I have no doubt that it is. Oh, yeah. I, next... In fact, I think on my Lunatic run, I'll try that. I'm sure... No, no. Definitely those two will be great partners for each other, but... It's cute that you think you're going to be able to play Lunatic. Oh, hey, don't doubt me. I'm not that bad at Fire Emblem. Well, no, Lunatic is just basically a bunch of bullshit. Oh, it is? Darn. I guess, technically, Lunatic Plus is the really bad one, but it's... Yeah, I'm not, I don't care about that. I don't really care. I was just trying... <coughs> I mean, I tried... Oh, well, last two playthroughs were on hard, but, you know... Is Lunatic that much more difficult? I mean, I only... Actually, I only played the first one. The it's... prologue mission. And it the was kind the of thing like, about oh, Lunatic is basically that it's Frederick Emblem. <laughs> oh, wonderful. I really love relying on my Jigen so much. Butler man. So, uh, forget it. I'll just do it on hard again like I did before. I don't really care about Lunatic. I mean, because it just makes the, like, the, the other maps, like the Paralogs and Z-Logs, that much harder. Mm, like, yeah. oh, you'll, you'll never be a Potheosis now. <laughs> oh, thanks. Well, no, actually, Apotheosis is always the same difficulty. Oh, it is? Oh, it's always the same? Oh, I didn't know that. Huh. Man, this tower is really kind of a resource drain, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's it's one slot. Wow, it's quite a slot. But, oh, it's okay, because we got Thanatos on the ropes. It's okay. Oh, he can't, never mind. He... <laughs> there we go, got him. Okay, there we go. Fuck him up. Oh, nope. Excalibur and the giant act. Oh, oh, Excalibur was his undoing. So, quite nice. You are now king of the Britons, Artix. How does it feel? I am. I, I am so honored. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Now go and fight some knights or shit. Oh. Look, man, these gargoyles are hard. Let's just let's just do that and call it a day. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, or you can or you can fight the French. Well, yeah, but, like, Arthur wasn't really concerned about the French as much as he was concerned about his own nephew. But, oh well. That was later. Also, the fact that his, uh, his greatest knight was kind of a dick. I say, wasn't his, wasn't his best knight, like, also uh, sleeping with his wife? Yeah, that's Lancelot. He, mm -hmm. uh, he uh, had an affair with Guinevere, uh, Arthur's wife. Yep, and that's why they fell out. Because, uh, you know, I definitely do that too. You know, one of my, you know, one of my best friends was sleeping with my wife. It'd be s somewhat awkward dinner conversation, for right? Sure. It's like, oh, hey, Lancelot, how's everything going? Oh, not bad. Guinevere is doing well. Oh, how do you know? Oh, I just, I just asked her. Oh, really? When did you ask her? Uh, when did you ask her? Uh, a couple days ago. When we Why is everything in this tower weak to wind? This is the wind area. I, I don't know. I think. I think they all took cues from, like, the Desert Hag or something, and were improperly, you know, <laughs> equipped for this. Okay, that was actually a pretty good move on Confused Kylie's part. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, Kylie has the presence of mind to at least, you know, not kill you <laughs> when she should yeah, be killing someone else. Let's not give her too much credit. I'm sorry, yeah. I mean, she... she <laughs> that's true. There's still she time. Have, she does have a lot of other... Incredible talents too, like you know, being able to talk to trees. Talking to trees is truly something that all it really people is should something. strive for. Yeah, it really is something to be admired. In fact, I tried talking to them once, but like it was like, uh, didn't work. But no, Kylie wasn't with me. So. The tree, the trees were all like busy. Try again later. Yeah, it's like you know, oh hey man, it's like the middle of fall. I lost all my leaves. Like. Just like just fuck off for a bit. She's like, leave me alone, bro. I, yeah, it's I, like, I, I need this time to weep. I've fallen on hard times, man. Really? <laughs> so have my leaves. <laughs> Doom. Doom headbanger. Wait, 
That's not the name of the attack. Head Doomerang. <laughs> That's great. I mean, Headbanger, though, does he's... seem like it would be a, a, an interesting translation. I know, but back. still, Head Doomerang. I mean, like, he said they didn't really. Squaresoft really didn't have much of a localization team, but, like, still, Head Doomerang is quite a good, good pun for that. In English. <laughs> I mean, I know that's what I would. That's what I would have gone with. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. You've been. It takes a certain sort of sort of imagination to come up with something like that. Yeah, it really is quite creative. Yeah, quite nice. Uh... I give it a ten out of ten on the pun meter. And if I'm rating a pun that high, then you know it has to be good. Terrible. Anyway, you know, if you're a critic or anyone else, or just anyone else, really. <laughs> Oh darn it, Dennis is falling asleep. Dennis is sleeping on the job, I'm not sure how to feel about this. God damn, I, I know how to feel about it. Like, he should get up, that lazy asshole. I love how his sleep slash dead thing has one of his legs up in the air. Like, wait, wait, I just casted something on you and now you're awake? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> that's, that's not how my RPG mechanics work. Yeah, I'm supposed to stack all the uh, ail status ailments on you, but no. You're you double to... sleeping, man. Oh god, no! I'm gonna sleep till noon, shit! Well, yeah, in later Final Fantasy games, magic wouldn't wake you up, so this is a welcome change. Well, I mean, oh, a welcome... Um, I guess so, it is a change, but still, this is before a lot of Final Fantasy games, so... So, uh, I guess he's back down on the first floor? I don't know where else he could be. You know, We've where been... the hell did Pazuzu go? We just, like, fought so many of his minions, and he's just like, maybe he... I don't know, he just... Like got bored and went off to Dairy Queen or something. Well, that's what I'm trying to figure. Like, I, I, we've been up and down the entire tower. He has to still be on the first floor. Right. Yeah. Which is weird because he started there to begin at the beginning, right? Yeah. So he just went back to where he normally was. Oh, that was his greatest trick of all. Yeah. It's really like, it's like let them, it. just let them climb the tower. I'll just, you know, they'll never find me down here. Yeah. But, I see. It's a tower plan was to wear you out by making you fight all his so. minions. Right, yeah. Alright. Well, he's either on floor one or floor three. We're gonna find out which. Is he a trickster? No, I don't think he's a trickster god, but no, probably. Uh, I guess now he is. He's so um, tricky. A fucking bird man. Word is the bird. Hmm, yes. Deed in. Agree, I do. All right, is he really still here? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I mean, he could have just exited his tower. He's like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just, I'm hungry. No, he's not here. Which means he must be on floor three. What the hell? I guess I don't know where else he would be. He's, he's trolling you real hard, man. Are you <laughs> gonna just, take that lying down? He's just sitting outside. Like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> he's smoking. It's a cigarette break. <laughs> Well, at least you got killed them the first time up, so that you don't have to fight them three. again. Yeah, he he has a harsh policy of no smoking in his tower, but, you know, outside, yeah, whatever. Looks like he's not on floor three. It's gotta be five. What the <laughs> That's, like, literally the only place left he can be. <laughs> if he's not there, then, like, he pulled the ultimate prank on you. Because he's so <laughs> tricky. Tricky people. Trick. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's that guy. He's, he's sworn an oath to fight against all pedophiles. <laughs> Man, who knew that Mystic Quest was ahead of its time? He's got to be here. There's nowhere else for him to be. <laughs> he's off at the mall trying to defend little children from that evil guy taking pictures of them and all. You won't touch their private parts, his soldiers say. <laughs> well, I mean, that's actually quite noble of him to do, but, you know, unfortunately we have to kill him. <laughs> oh, Japan, you silly. <laughs> the great enemy is a guy who hunts, who hunts pedophiles. <laughs> oh, are you blaming Japan? I was going to make that up. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I know, they're, they're decent people. There. God yes. damn, he's getting, this has got to be it. This has got to be it. If it's not, I I'm... Mean, it, it really has to be, right? Because you've been on all the floors, 
And like, he hasn't been- he was- he was nowhere! <laughs> is it time for some head doom? I- I mean, I- Yes, it is time for head doom. I hope it's time for Pazuzu's doom, because, you know... <laughs> he's been- he's been slippery. Oh, there he is! Yep. God, thank you. Thank God. Hello and goodbye. I'm so glad that this game from 1992 wasn't broken. <laughs> Playtime's over, prepare to meet your doom. And you can forget about Captain Mac. I don't know how he knows about Captain Mac, but whatever. <laughs> I know Captain Mac. Alright, so yeah, he's a giant bird. Guess what that means? <laughs> that means he's weak to wind spells, right? Yes, he is. <laughs> Just like in Fire Emblem, right? Yeah. But fortunately, but he's not a pushover, though. He has a lot of attacks that'll hit both people, and, and he, he can hit them for about 500 damage a shot. Ow. Yeah, he looks like he's like a king. Yeah, he's got a crown on and He's also kind of. He also seems kind of slow. Eh. He can be. He can be a slow bird. I mean, as long as he hits like a truck, that's good, I guess. And hit like a truck, he does. Yeah, yes, he does. Even Kylie's feeling the heat from that. Yeah, he hasn't even done a form shift yet. Oh no, not yet. He, yeah, oh, wait till you see his form shift. It's. Uh... Does he become the yellow dino? He does not become the yellow dino. I'm Damn sorry. it! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna switch off of magic for a second because. Yep, here it is. This is the psych shield. Uh oh. If you attack him while the psych shield is up, he will reflect his ma your magic back at you. And you have wind magic, and oh god, it's too terrible to imagine. Yeah. Mile driver. Just like he does to all those pedophiles on the wall. But yeah, no. Yeah, um. But yeah, no. Pazuzu is also a, um, a luchador. Uh-huh, right. He's not wearing a mask, though, but he doesn't need me. Need... Yeah. And there's the psych shield is down, so we can go back to using some spells against him. Because he seems the coolest guy ever. <laughs> I want to be Pazuzu. Like, look at, look at all that gold he has on him. He's, he's, like a, he's living large, really. Pazuzu is your friend. Well, he is the king of the... He is the bird king of the demons. Bird king of the demons, wow. Alright, this is not... this could not possibly end badly. Oh, not at all. He's still screaming at you, apparently. I wonder what his voice sounds like. If it's, like, regal and commanding, or if it's, like, Ridley's voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, he's feeling a little bit down. But yeah, he is. He's like, uh, Man... I'm so tired. That's because he's... that's because he's waiting. Oh, oh, I see, right. He's got a special attack and ready for you. <laughs> he does. But first we gotta weaken him a little bit more to prepare it. Bane of a FIBA files instantly kills any <laughs> And it just, it just flat out destroys Artix. Oh, I mean Dennis, excuse me. What does that say about you? No, uh, not much. Yeah, it seems like having Kaylee on, on permanent healing duty might not be the worst idea. Yeah. At least you're not playing with Tristram. That would be or Tristram. That would just be. Oof. Imagine how crappy that would be against Pazuzu. I mean. Well, you see, he would probably he is a bird. He would probably weak to shooting attacks. Oh yes, still, but like. And there you go. His special attack is the people's elbow. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Pazuzu, calm down! I mean, I know you're a luchador and all, but you don't have to... You don't have to play it up. There are no cameras here. You're not on pay-per-view. <laughs> like you normally are. And I became Spanish all of a sudden. <laughs> Actually, he's... He's, he's doing pile drivers. He's not just like, the people's elbow. But still, like, look at look at that bicep on that bird. Oh wow, that's that's pretty big, man. Oh dang. Oof. Oh You're shit. Like, oh my god, that was. <laughs> it's okay. Was... We survived his finisher. <laughs> no, I'm gonna miss you. He didn't even and on that note, I actually have to uh, go, go for a little bit. Be right back. That's okay. okay because we're um we're basically done with the main portion of the game now. Now do some side quests. 
Oh look, a hundred rupees again. It's it's really cloudy out there. Wow. <laughs> so we are at the top of the tower. Yeah, where all the clouds are. This and is my favorite. I hope there's no. We're fucking done. I hope there's no weird erotic fan art of Ah oh, no! What am I kidding? <laughs> it definitely is. All right. So now that we're done with that, we can come back and talk to Otto. And this asshole is back. Otto and Hannah and other people whose names are palindromes. Oh, who's this? A Reuben? What? You took you, you took all that time to climb out of that fucking ravine? Really? <laughs> like, I mean, come on, you have a like a morning star. You could have at least, you know, used that as a sort of grappling hook. Unless, you know, your mama didn't teach you how to climb ravines. Yep. I suppose that's it. Like, oh, we have to have him instead? Yep. And uh here's his spell list. <laughs> oh, can't wait. What's that marijuana leaf there? That's white. <laughs> That's all he's got? That's it! God damn it, Ruben! <laughs> At least he's got some pretty strong attack. I mean, that's really all we used him you know, for, you know, in the past. But st uh, still, yeah, about that. Still, I mean... Well, hang on, like, let me... Let's, let's do a save and make sure we're on the right... Make sure oh, he has oh, his sorry, right stuff yeah. first. Oh, looks like you uh, pretty much made him obsolete with your stats. Oh, well. <laughs> Damn it, Ruben! You had all that time. You couldn't even make yourself better. Yeah. All right. Let now let's compare. Okay. Here we go. Yep. Okay. Oh dear. Are you better than him in all ways now? I hope so. Wow. You are. You pretty much are. <laughs> 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 Bitch. You are literally the worst, Ruben. <laughs> yeah, even Tristam has, you know, like, more spells than you, and that's really what's important in this game, really. Yep, and now we get to go all the way back to the Focus Tower. Oh, sweet, is he... <laughs> he's gonna be the one that takes you to the end game. Oh, boy, can't wait for that. Fortunately, no. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. Do you get Kylie instead? Uh, no, we get Phoebe for end game. Phoebe? We haven't had her, have we? From, no, she was the one with the water crystal. Right. Okay. We're like, yeah, we never used her as a party member, so okay. No, she did. Yeah, she was with the, she was with us when we got the water crystal. Oh, oh, oh okay. She was the mage. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. she's she's a mage. She's Wait, actually. Was she the one with the cat's claw? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now I remember. Yeah, I was about to say like, all right, Phoebe now joins us after her, you know, sickness and all that shit. Well, that's nice for. Her. Why, why do we even have room to begin with if we're so close to the end game? <laughs> because we need to have him a second time. That's how this works. Oh right, I'm sorry. It's nev never, never, anything's never in your favor. Or nothing's in your favor. I mean. All right, so now we got to talk to an old guy in bed. Ooh, that's my favorite kind of talk. <laughs> and then he gave us rock. It and now we're gonna go back to Windia. Thanks, man. Could have at least... Ugh, wow. He's the worst guy I ever slept with. <laughs> That's all I gave was a thunder rock. <laughs> Most at least tell me I did a good job, but not that guy. He's like, eh, have a rock, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, come on. I'm missing, you know, ESPN. Come on, dude. I thought this was a tender moment. Eh, fuck you. No, it wasn't. Anyway, the adventures of Dennis and the adventures of Den De Dennis and Filler. Dennis, <laughs> Dennis and Filler. <laughs> yes, that's really it. Sorry, Ruben. You might be a tasty sandwich, but you're not a good party member. <laughs> Ruben, I mean, I, you don't have to walk around with that goy, <laughs> Dennis. I mean, it could have been so much more. <laughs> okay, Mom, I get it. Alright, so the next dungeon, we can either completely invalidate it and skip 95% of it, or we can fight through it and get experience. What's your call? 
Um, I think we should get experience, so that way, once we reach the final boss, we can trivialize him even more. So if I, um... I'm does just, that even, I'm does just that gonna even go happen? ahead and tell you that if you need... You, you don't need to be leveled at all to trivialize the final boss. Oh, no. <laughs> of course not. It's probably Ruben all along. <laughs> Alright, so and yeah, so now with our extended rainbow, we can go to Spencer's place again. Oh, sweet! Let's go to Spencer's And then Spencer. Ruben broke everything. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did he just say that? What did he... <laughs> okay, um, good work, Ruben. See, what do we have? How did, how did he know that that's exactly what the place needed? Uh, just a little bit of explosives. You know, my mom told me all about this place. Ruben, don't forget your bombs. I packed them. I packed them in with your pastrami sandwich. <laughs> all right, mom. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this game's just too funny. Well, like I said, like this game just—it does not waste any time on anything. <laughs> it doesn't. It's just like, oh no, Ruben knows how to, you know, blow the place up and make you be able to get to the, you know, the place you needed to go. He didn't just tell you anything before, because he was, uh, I don't know. Yeah, who knows. But, uh, yeah. So anyway, he, um, that actually freed Max's ship. Oh, good. So now he can fly anywhere, I guess. No, that's actually the next dungeon. Oh, okay. Bam. Step on the Omega panel there. Yep. And hidden in the back of Spencer's place is our last crest. Yes! I guess that's the infinity symbol? I don't know. It, it oh, is! Oh, oh, it's the Mobius crest, okay. Well, yeah, that is pretty you know, infinite, I guess. But... Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, take care of this next dungeon. Which, because yep. this will take literally like five minutes. <laughs> this is the end of the game, isn't it? Second to last dungeon. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so. So by going into this random old person's home, <laughs> if we go what down, else would it be? if we go downstairs, we can find a warp <laughs> that goes to the ship dock. <laughs> of course we do. <laughs> Fucking random person's house. No, th this is necessary for plot progression. <laughs> I know. That's what makes it great. Hey. <laughs> oh dear. Wait, what's up? Wait, is something wrong? <laughs> hey, you can get a little closer, ship. Don't be shy. It's just Dennis, after all. Um. Wait, is, some, is actually something quite wrong? Something is actually very wrong. What's what's supposed? To, is the ship actually supposed to be at the pier? Yes. Oh no! <laughs> what what happened? Damn it, old man! I think we broke the game. <laughs> <laughs> we do that? I don't know. Emulators, man. Am I right? I don't even think it's the emulator. I think we just broke the game. <laughs> oh, let, me go, let me go somewhere else and see if I can fix it. Okay. <laughs> I hope that works. <laughs> oh, Lord. This game. <laughs> the best Final Fantasy game I've ever, <laughs> I've ever seen. Oh lord. <laughs> I think we might have just broken the game. Like this this never happened before, has it? When no. you played No, I've never seen this before. Like no, you did you took every step, you know, that was right, you know, took all the you did all the right things. Oh, then... oh, no 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 no, I know what we're missing. It's okay. Oh no. <laughs> oh, we have to talk to another old man, don't we? No, actually, we need to go talk to Kaylee. Oh, okay, good. Right, of course. Okay, uh, I was gonna say. Our, our most useful party member, of course, she she knows the way. Oh god, I was about to say. Like, oh my god, I hope this didn't actually. Happen. Game ended here. I laughed my ass. <laughs> there we go. Oh, good. Thank God. Now we have the cap, and we can go to the dungeon. Oh, the ship's afloat. <laughs> It was, it was kind of far away. I couldn't swim there. What are you talking I mean, I'm, I only just went through like three monster-filled dungeons and 
know, nearly saved the world, but swimming to a ship? What are you fucking crazy? I don't do that. It's not my contract. I, Dennis, have dignity. Phew, okay. Thank you, yeah, thank God. I mean, I really... All right. Well, it would have been hilarious if you couldn't progress. I mean, it wouldn't have, you know, but it would pretty would have been pretty anticlimactic. Okay. Oh, no. Another Chimera recolor. That's no, it's the same one. This is all the same monsters. Oh. <laughs> so wait, whose ship is this, and why is it infested with monsters? This is Captain Max's ship. You know that guy we've been trying to find the entire time. Oh. Oh. I. Wow. So is he actually on the ship, or is he Yes, dead? he is! He's on the ship! Did he just... Wait, I guess he know. I hope he knows that there are monsters on his, on the deck. I mean, because... Like... <laughs> if he doesn't know, then it's like... Oh, hey! Glad you can find me! I hope everything was okay on your journey here. It's like, oh yeah, it was great! You know, I nearly fucking died with Sorcerer and a Camaro recolor. <laughs> Like, oh, wait, what'd you say? Chimera recolor? What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Oh, thanks, Honestly, Ruben. That's actually a Chimera. Oops. Did he, did he smack you with his face? I see, we're le I see we're starting off right where we left off again. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, no, Ruben. <laughs> you idiot. He's <laughs> <laughs> getting sh like shit on all of <laughs> it's okay, the enemy sympathize with us. Poor Ruben! <laughs> oh good, he's still alive at least. <laughs> no. Oh no? Oh. Oh no. This isn't good. It's, it's so weird how like... Like the battles can, in this game can range from like, Oh, you just stomp over everything to like, Oops, you just wiped. <laughs> Best game ever. <laughs> oh dear. All right, now let's see. Let's take these bastards down. I hope. Okay, good. Way to go, Ruben. You're not immune to poison either. <laughs> Is he immune to anything? Fire. That's about it. That's it. <laughs> oh, 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 hold on. Let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. That there aren't really many fire attacks from this point on. <laughs> uh, no, not really. Not. <laughs> that would be Ruben's, you know, useful around <laughs> having as a party member. Oh right, oh right. He doesn't stay for long. Of course. No, no. This is the only dungeon we have him for. Oh good. Because <laughs> I'm about to say, oh fuck's <laughs> fucking Thanatos. Why do you have healing spells? You're the personification of death, even if you're a recolor of an Irish mythological figure, but still. <laughs> I don't think any any dull hands had any healing spells. Let me look on Wikipedia. <laughs> They'll tell me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Headless rider usually seen on black horse. The head's eyes are small, black, and constantly dart about like flies, while the mouth is constantly in a hideous grin that touches both sides of the head. All oh, right, and the moldy cheese bit that I talked about. <laughs> Wait, whoa, what the hell? The Dullahan's whip is actually the spine of a human corpse? Jesus! <laughs> God damn! They really, really wanted to make this guy intimidating, and well, I guess they succeeded, because it's yeah. a pretty unsettling monster, once you think about it. Alright, so, uh, yep, we're gonna go ahead and uh, just climb up the mast here. Don't mind us. It's like, oh, well, Patrick, what's this Dullahan creature you're talking about? Oh, it's, it's terrible. It's got... Fucking moldy cheese head. <laughs> oh wow, okay, whatever. Oh, but he has a whip made of a human spine, isn't that isn't that scary? Yeah. <laughs> it's weird, man. The spokes of the wheels Oh wait, let's see. The wagons they sometimes use are made of similarly funereal objects. For example, candles and skulls to light the way. Wow. The spokes of the wheels made from thigh bones. <laughs> The wagon's covering made from a worm chewed in Paul. <laughs> Holy shit. I just love look, like reading the, like descriptions about mythological features <laughs> like features. Because it's just like you know that like they had a lot of time to think about it like that. <laughs> what they did to entertain themselves. Oh god, two phantos. Or It's okay. Ah. They they can only heal each other. 
Let me see. How how do you what do you say in the plural? What's, what's Thanatos in plural? It's like, fuck. Oh, damn it, that's not helping we can say Wikipedia. Thanatos in plural is fuck you, head to yeah, It really is, yeah. In, in the ancient Greek it was actually fuck you. Quite <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh, and now there was one personification of death, but how do we say there were many deaths? Ah, oh, of course, it was fuck you. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Thanks. Thanks, George. Thanks, Sophocles. Alright, yeah, I actually had to jump there because there are hidden pits. Uh, oh, oh, my god. But, of course there are. But, uh, that's okay, because after we kill this guy, we're gonna be done with the dungeon. Hidden pits on a ship? Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Max just hated anyone, really. Like, oh, go swap the poop deck. I'm like, oh, of course I will. Like, oh, fuck! <laughs> They're just falling down into the ocean, like, yeah, I tricked you. <laughs> no, thanks. Thanks, Mac. Asshole. Well, the gargoyles still look really surprised that you broke one of their swords. It's like, oh man, you know how expensive that thing was? Yeah, it was like at least 50 gold pieces. Let's see. <sighs> Alright, and, uh, that's it! Oh. I think, actually, no, the plural would have been th Thanatoy, I think. Yeah, so anyway, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna steal this guy, steal Max armor, because we're oh. assholes like that. Oh, guy, this armor! Oh, that's oh, quite nice. Yeah, um, yeah, it protects against, um, in addition to water and poison, it protects against wind and sleep. Mm. So we have everything basically except petrification now. Like, <laughs> oh, nice. And, and then, like, wait, I thought you were protect against it with the Apollo's helm or something? Or that was that... fire. That's fire. Oh, okay. So Damn. yeah, there comes Kaylee, and oh, Ruben's still dead. <laughs> oh, Ruben. Ruben. And now Man. it's time for a non sequitur. Oh. I guess I... I... Huh? What? Wait, just... Huh? Wait, is he gonna shrug? Oh, please shrug. Because that's exactly how I feel right now. Spencer! We're done here. Let's go. Right. <laughs> All right hey, guys. Shrug. shrug. Oh, he didn't oh, shrug. he didn't shrug. I know. I'm sorry. The, 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 the point where it would have been the best time to shrug, he didn't shrug. <laughs> right, I'm well, actually going to have to do it probably just to hang up on this call. I, but that's okay. I've got a number of things I need to do. We're, we're almost we're, finished. We're pretty much done right now. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Ruben's hurt. See? Look at him. Oh, where is he? Oh, Get out of here. Ruben. Oh, what, what, do you take a splinter to his pig? Wait, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just spun him out of my inventory here. <laughs> oh, he's so dizzy. Alright, so, uh, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and hit the bed real quick, talk to Mac, and then we will be ready for the final dungeon. Oh, is Phoebe, uh, I guess she's an archer or something? Or... She's oh, our, right, yeah, right. mage archer. Major, oh yeah, magic archer. Oh. Right. So anyway, this is now the best part of the game. Man, I have to pee again at this the climax of the game? Like, oh god, I'll be right back. Yes, this is justified. Shut up. Okay, so how much better is Phoebe than you? Or are you, are you actually just better than she is? Oh my god, you are. <laughs> uh, not entirely. Pretty much. Well, on magic, no. 
No, but also she has a really good set of resistances. Paralyzed, oh. sleep, uh, water, wind. So And swastika. <laughs> and that's actually the drain attacks. Oh. <laughs> of course. Yeah. I'm so I was like, no, she's she she doesn't she hates fascists. That's yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we're not actually gonna do the final dungeon because it is quite long. But this okay. is the best part of the game. Oh good. Do you wanna do you wanna stream some like Donkey Kong Country after this? Nah, I think is we've been going out for five hours now. I think it's about oh, yeah, time to cool. call it. Okay, okay. Well, we had fun. Ouch! Stop poking me, you jerk! <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment <laughs> since the beginning of the game, <laughs> and now I'm poking Ruben. <laughs> The last mission of the game. Poke your former allies. Oh god. <laughs> That's not gonna help with her coverage. <laughs> you silly. <laughs> Maybe after he will stream something, that'd be nice. Yeah, that might be interesting. Yeah. What? <laughs> Alright, so yeah. There why we go. You, why aren't you doing the same shit to Tristam? <laughs> because you might Tristam. It more. <laughs> because Tristam's not here. I oh, would. wait, I thought he was in the other bed. No, that's that's Mac. Oh, fuck, of course. <laughs> Mac. Yeah, that most important character. So, yeah, that's gonna be it. Five and a half hours and we're at the final dungeon. <laughs> I know, crazy, but... <laughs> Alright, well, till next time. Alright, goodbye, everybody. All two of you. Gore us. <laughs>